not stop, not starting now. I can't do it now. I have to edit. <laughs> I have to edit tonight. I can't. But everyone's alive. Uh, that, that's a really good way to phrase something when someone's coming into a game when they haven't played in a while and there's definitely a lot of mean encounters. And I, literally almost, I literally almost died. You did, and I'm glad it. you're in one piece. I, there are not enough people that care about me to have Thank people start God just they, dying. Thank God they increased the dying value from three to four, am I right? <laughs> yeah, in any case. I was, I was at three. I was you at were three. like 3.75. That was very scary. I just realized that Stabilize would have cleared every single tick of dying. Not with the infection that I had. <laughs> yeah. Poisons don't go away that easily. I mean, you have a, mm. a perforated No, no, appendix. no. The, the, dying, the dying ticks are gone. The poison wouldn't be. Yeah. Poison would increase all the time. Anyway, anyway, thank you to my patrons for support. We're a little late, as seems to be a common theme here at BDG. So we're just going to dive in into that encounter, the giant rats. Uh, Bolix comes running up around the corner and sees the party is associating with a Hell Knight now. And that's the surprise. Boo. Oh, I the terror. <laughs> ooh, ooh, can I do my goblin song? Yes, do your goblin song. I be the terror the slaps in the night. I be the match that keeps hope alight. I be the onion that stings in your eye. A slave be set free for each tear you cry. I am Bullock Spain. Maybe I shouldn't be yelling my name out in public. <laughs> oh, well. we'll work on that later. Of course, we all have hero points. There are a boatload <laughs> of giant rats in this room, and Bullock comes around the corner, and there's a man in. Not Hell Knight plate, but the bat black of a Hell Knight armager with a halberd. He looks over and just... Is he with you? Yes. Uh, yes. That's just his war cry. A very enthusiastic war cry. Oh, uh, he is the bird that flaps in the night! I don't know! Ah! <laughs> Fair enough. And Cube Tug is first. <laughs> and there's a Hell Knight. And I'm, I'm, I'm singing about free and slay. It's great. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, Q <laughs> There are rats. They want to eat Ohm. Or really, probably whatever is in front of them. But you know what it is. Are you mute? You're not even talking at all. Are you dead? Too much. So much death. <laughs> How can we live with such relentless hate? Yeah, I, yeah. Okay, I'm coming through. I got worried there. No, 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 you're you're here. You're good. I think I don't know. Cube Tuck is holding their actions in three, two. Oh. Aha! I want initiative? Yeah, you're going yes. first. We rolled initiative yeah. at the end. Uh Bullocks, roll initiative. <laughs> that's that's a thing that's important. Uh, okay. okay. Um I will cast Divine Lance on one of the rats. That works for me. And you have that. Yes, you do. Good, 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 good. All right, let me. I'm going to boom, and I'm going to bang, and Did I'm going to. Did I gonna really do that? Habuski and descending. Oh. All right, cool. Oh, because I wasn't clicking. And a 20. Uh, I don't see your damage, friend. But it, I'm sure a 20 hits, probably, most likely. Uh, yeah, 20 hits. So. I knew I was forgetting something in that particular... Damage is important. The Divine Lance hits the rat, and the rat doesn't seem to mind much. It goes, ah, because suddenly there's some light in its face, and, and it's, uh, uh, yeah, you want to flavor it? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, that's supposed to be a seven, I mistyped. Okay, never mind, don't flavor it at all. Uh, super cool, what can you see? Uh, you can't see. You strode to that square and can see one. Got it. Okay, dope. Alrighty. So then next is a couple of more rats. Chittering and chittering. This one can't really do much of anything. So it's just going to stand back there and be sad. This one is going to take a bite out of our rogue friend here. Whoop, boom, 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 bam. 14 to hit. Oh, miss. Oh, I heard... I heard you say miss, but I thought it was yes. And I was like, oh my. No, miss. <laughs> Six, Denied. Five. Denied. And next one's a 15. Uh, no better. One, zero, and then minus one. Plus minus one. Ah, well, 
Ohm is quick on Ohm's feet and Ohm's turn. I eyes. am not green cheese. <laughs> of all my players that I have across many, many games, no, you are not the cheese player. The cheese player doesn't know what they're doing. You are the player who knows exactly what they're doing, has a 20-step plan to achieve it, and can back it up with real-life smarts. Also, it's your turn. Uh, okay. Uh, this rat right here is flat-footed to me because he has not acted yet. Why, yes. So I'm going to stabby at him and then stabby at the... I'm going to stab at both of them. You now, it's just a thing to do. Fair enough. So... Does a 15 catch? Uh, 15 does just catch, yeah. Okay, so 8 slashing. And uh, he had one hit point, so he is now a die in one if you like to play with a kill. Okay, the... Now to the next target. Okay. And this would be... Okay, Agile, so it's neg 4. You got it. So, 18? Uh, yeah, that definitely hits 5 slashing damage is damage. This one has acted, and, though. Right. And I have one last try. Okay. You know what? I'm rethinking that discretion is the better part of Valor. I'm going to take a 5-foot step back and let our <laughs> well-armored friend have a better shot at things. Fair enough. Alrighty then, we're on Charles. Oh, thanks, buddy. You're welcome. Oh, wait, that's not me. Oh, I, thought... uh, I guess also I should ask Charles now with the, I know you're Thessalonian and with the recent advent of the Lost Omens World Guide, are we going to see a, a, a I forget what that archetype is called, the Rune, Rune Mage? Scar? Rune Scar. Is that what it's called? Uh, I forget. Rune's card, yes. I was planning on playing into the, um, uh, once I heard that, you know, the Lost Omens was going to have, like, an archetype and whatnot devoted to the Thessalonians, I was intending to use it. So, if that is possible, I may change out my Alchemist dedication for it, now that, if that's a thing, because I was fully intending on playing into it. It does sound really cool. In any case, it's your turn, my friend. All right, that will be something we can fix later. Until then, I'll just, like, reserve from using my alchemist stuff. I definitely didn't think everyone in the house would, al or would alchemist into archetype. Would archetype into alchemist, but I guess I'm not surprised knowing you guys. Yeah, yeah, that, that is fair. So, uh, just a quick check. I, I can see all these guys directly enough in front of me, correct? Uh, you've got basically line of sight on three people, yeah. Do I see any objects near them? Like, um, what type of objects do I see around, just, like, scattered about and whatnot? Well, let me move this rat here real quick. A17, got it. Bingo! Uh, there's no A in bingo. That's I know how bingo works. I have played old people games in my time. It's a uh, toppled shelves, filing cabinets, have, cabinets blah, have been knocked all over the place. There's rubble from where the wall is exposed to the elements. There are a lot of things you could throw at them. Okay, cool. Okay, just... Thank um, you. Mm. I'm just good having it splishable. I'm going to um with a somatic and verbal motion going to cast telekinetic projectile um at this one right here, the, the closest one. Okay. But that one's still standing. And a 14 does miss. Ah uh, shucks. So I was just going to try and like have like some rubble fall down from this rafters onto it, but I guess it Misses. Rocks fall, and then the rat remains alive. Damn it, this is why you need to be a DM to make that maneuver work. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then for my last action, I'm going to use the verbal somat the verbal casting of shield. Understood. A and bullets. And that's my turn. Oh, uh, for the record, I just thought I'd mention this because I do know it needs to be checked. Um, uh, Leo is like in my kind of like on my back slash him hiding kind of in my cloak. 
Okay, sure. Okay. Good call. Um, I, I guess I just need a, a little uh, run out of what is going on here. Is that Hell Knight, our friend, our foe? Uh, he... You guys have... You stayed at camp with the pony that fears no goblin. The idea was to come back. There's clearing this place out for the Bumble Brashers is the plan right now. And basically the entire uh, that south wing of uh, this part of the Citadel has been cleared. His name is Alex Stagrum, and he's here now looking for a lost heirloom of like his family's that was left here before they moved to Verizia. He is standing next to a cleric of Serenray, and they seem to be fine, but he definitely has Asmodeus as unholy symbol, like holding his cloak up, basically. Right. Um, which those two are fine together. They're they actually fought with each other. Um, they did. Okay, and this rat, where I can't see any of the rats, so kind of uh, yeah, in the you're... dark. I will. Um, you could this like rat, ten feet forward. This rat here. Can I? Is he like down? Or? Yeah, he's dying one. Okay. Uh, in that case, I will move up. Okay. And I, I'm just gonna stand over him. Okay. Uh, to get to this one, spend an action to use my. Make my claws grow. Okay, gotcha. And I will attack with said claws. Dragon claws. Dragon claws! Yeah, 21 hits. And that is enough to... This one now is also... I assume... Is this the target? Uh, one and one. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, I see. Oof. Yeah. One... one damage one acid damage one slashing or, one acid. yeah one damage three damage one acid damage got you okay so then this one also i assume this was the target yes and yes. down he goes dying yes. uno where are you on my initiative tracker right there and i'll move you to right before bollocks because i gotta remember to do that is that all yes Alrighty. alec has a reach weapon and will attack whoa blam and critically hit and then he'll send his second attack i couldn't figure out how to put the minus four or minus five rather for alec in his entry on the sheet so i'm just gonna roll it that would hit so then alec brings his halberd like the pointy end down and it pierces the rat through and then pull out and then hammer and it's for dead and then this is at a minus 10 which does miss he tries to like swing into the other one that's on the ground but comes a little short of bullocks and has to like skirt it at an awkward angle at the last second and then it's on the last the final rat will step and we're gonna try to nom 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 on bullocks oh boom first attack is a 15 and second attack is a Natural 20. 20 will hit, the 15 will miss. All right, if you could make a fortitude save for me. Certainly. Noted. Already. Is that, what is that? What is, how is number? As, ugh, go over there. There we go. Okay. Good enough for me. And damage on a rat is not bad. Okay, so then, whoopsie. Plus that. Eight points of piercing damage. Dang. The rat comes up scurrying, and you're able to dodge the first one, but you, like, slip on the ichor a little bit, and then this, it gets you in, like, just south of the femoral, I guess. This thing's, a, this thing's about as big as you are, actually, so probably more, like, in the shoulder-neck region. And Annie. Is Tiki dead? Everyone is dead. Oh, I see. Never mind. Alrighty. 13 is a miss, but splash is a thing that happens. Anything else? 
Sorry, I didn't realize I was muted. Yeah, ah, it's all good. And that's with so um, then a minus 15. five. A uh, fifteen would hit. And is this our target here, or is it this one over here? Kill all. Uh, uh, it's 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 the one that moved up. Oh, got you. Okay, makes sense. So then he takes three points of zappy damage, and he takes one point of zappy damage, and he takes one dying of zappy damage, and I am now flat-footed. Is that correct when I get hit with a bottle of lightning? Yeah, flat-footed yes. till the start of my next turn. Sweet. All righty. So and Bullock's taking the zappy damage. And Bullock's taking the zappy damage. Or, ex excuse me. It's uh, flat-footed till the end of my next turn. Mm. Can you... Uh, I don't remember which alchemist you are. Can you ignore squares for the purpose of uh, splash damage on your bombs? Yes. Okay. No zapping and damage it's, for uh, it's, um It's the only the person that I target with uh, takes the splash damage unless I choose otherwise. Okay, gotcha. Alrighty, in that case, I think it passes to Q Talk. I think that's three actions for you to draw and then throw throw. Wait, no, don't. Uh, no, have, I've no. got quick draw. I could technically do yeah. one more, but I'm going um, oh, okay, to pass it. Yeah, I was about to say, I remember that being a previous thing. New system, who does? I don't know if which I can still say I that walk, a month on. Which room do I walk towards again? Uh, you are looking basically straight to your north, 10 feet from you, I believe. Might be closer to 15. Yeah, about 15 feet away from you. Okay, um, wait, which character got hit for eight damage? The one right in front of you. Yeah, uh, Bollocks. Bollocks. Brain. The bluest goblin you ever saw. Oh, also, if you like our art, it's Wiffle Possum Productions on social media for all your character needs. I know there's, uh, I'm really sorry, guys. I'm forgetting your name. I was with my girlfriend when the comment came down, but there's definitely another channel playing Age of Ashes. It's like, hey, this is great. So... If y'all need art, I got your mans right here. Anyway, what you got for us? Medicines. I think you're just shooting yes. for a 15, right? Yes, I'm using uh, battle. I'm using my new feet of battle map. Okay. In the span of six seconds, Cube Talk breaks out the bandages and just wraps them in. Whoop, good. Okay, so then I'm sure that's a success if you would like to roll for some sweet, tasty heals. Which is to the tune of all of it back. Fair enough. Sorry, my apologies on that one. You're fine. I wish I could learn prepared cancer to Bob. You <laughs> shall take 10 points of healing. <laughs> all of it's Thank back you. again. It's a special spell. I just created it. It's a special spell. I've made it myself. Anything else from Q-Talk? No, that's all my action. Alrighty, then I'm gonna step, and I'm gonna try to bite at Bullock's. Welcome back, my friend. I'm so glad you're in one piece still. 24 to hit. And... Yes. Don't those people in the emergencies lands know I'm at work right now? And God... <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're coming to get me. They're coming to take me away. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's a pair of fortitude saves, if you would. Fortunately, the cleric is right behind you. <laughs> Oof. Popo, don't let me chemistry set. No. Nah. You have a... That? What is your... You must have, like, the biggest con. Fair enough. Well I done. have good con. Because <laughs> you are killing it. Uh, so then that's a critical hit and one hit. So before any resistances from two attacks, from two strikes, 15 points of piercing damage as the rats begin to swarm around you and tear at the bandages and your... I keep wanting to say your legs, but I forget you're playing a goblin. So your head, shoulders, no knees, no toes. Knees and toes. Knees and toes. And this guy has to make a flat check. At DC, yeah, he dies. The rat expires. That rat is gone sour. And it passes to home. Okay. Uh, this is where I live at break, right? Yeah, exactly. 
We're going to go back to Heralds of Dawn. I actually kind of miss Heralds of Dawn, I'm not going to lie. Oh, funny. okay. Well, if we're playing Heralds of Dawn, I'm just going to cast Hilaga and everyone gets back up. You just cast, destroy the entire campaign. <laughs> that, yeah. That game uh, was powerful. Yeah, I'm going to... I hear bollocks getting chomped upon and realize I don't have enough time to wait and let the long shanks deal with this, so that would be five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and twenty five. That's one move action. Okay. Or one action. And I will do twin takedown on the one right in front of me. Alrighty, fair enough. Second one is minus four. And he is flat footed to it. So the 10 obviously misses. But the 23 minus four definitely hits. Okay, four. so that's seven slashing. And I do get my sneak attack damage to yes, that. Yeah. And now I'm completely blanking on what that damage is. That uh, should just be an extra d6. In any case, the, the 7 plus the damage he had on him is enough to put him to 0. <laughs> so I believe it's on Charles. Indeed. I don't know why it says Ross in the turn order. Yeah. Weird. Because my character sheet is very clearly Charles. <laughs> Weird. Did I write it? I might have wrote it. Maybe you did. Freox. Who knows? Oh, well. It is what it is. Um, so, this guy down here looks, so our little goblin friend, is he still standing or is he, like, I'm just making sure. How is Brimwick's looking? Brim, Brim, uh, uh. Like a rat chew toy? Yeah. <laughs> is he, like... Sorry, just making. I'm hurting. I'm still standing, but I'm. I'm he's still standing. That's that's what I'm looking for. Okay, I can work with still standing. It's when he's down that I get concerned. It's when he's down that the concern really hits in. Um, well then, uh, I am a wizard, therefore I cast telekinetic projectile at the closest rat. Okay, and it critically hits. So that's 18 points of damage. And it goes to dying too. And you guys I just like I just like to think I just kinda like say, hey, back off and just like kind of swing the rubble that was just side like kind of Brex just like shoots over his head and knocks it in between the eyes. And you guys have more than enough action economy to finish them off. And that's the, the combat. Rat is flat. The rat is very flat. Why yes indeed. Alec pulls that same, like, dark cloth from his belt and begins cleaning the gore off his halberd. Grimwix, are you okay? What What are you doing here? I thought we told you to stay with the whore. Wait, are you okay? Goodness. Can't stay up with the... Can't stay behind while you guys are getting all the glory. Well, I, uh, the fair, but... The big damn you... heroes. He says the one who got turned into like a rat chew toy for a few moments there. Meh. I am not sure how much glory there is in the slaying of rats, but I'll defer to you. And Alex. When the rats the are the size of you. <laughs> Fair enough, like, little one. Ser seriously, I mean look look at us, okay? The things are taller than we are. I kinda like look over it, I'm up. Alex, and then I look over at Cure. Oh my god. Any Q talk? Yeah. Q talk. John I... Zia? <laughs> just person that is just amazing healing. Bollocks gets healed for 14 hit points. I'm using the two action version. Got it. Sounds good. Gracias. And as that's going on, uh, Ohm is just immediately just still on that break down the door, kill all the things, loot, go for. Jason and I have been in a lot of pies of APs together, and it's kind of how they work. Uh, as you guys go looking around, there is definitely, like, where the room, and you can't super see it through the, well, you might be able to. Well, Biam 
show me the lighting. I will remove this aspect of the lighting. Bang! Because you can see outside from there. Uh, there's like a pile of debris and brush and things that have all accumulated up right there. And there's something like sticking out of it very clearly a decomposed humanoid corpse that the rats had been feasting upon. Uh, amongst the, what was probably that person's like possessions and things, most of them have been destroyed by the elements, but there are a pair of minor healing potions on the corpse's belt. Other than that, most of the, uh, like, had you got here before the room was exposed to the elements, the Order of the Nails records were stored here, but present day, they're kind of just sad. Although in the flavor text, I will say, maybe this is only interesting to me, but the, most of the surfaces of this room are covered in moss and vines, including snarls of wild blackberries. That's, I don't know if that's good for anybody, but I'm salivating as I see that. Uh, Everyone loves blackberries. Precisely. I actually, I actually hate blackberries. Get out! Alec attacks you. I have, look, look! I have gone out and picked blackberries to make blackberry pie from scratch, and I still didn't like them. Oof. Uh, har harvest blackberries. Yep, you have harvest blackberries. blackberries. Yes. No, 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 no. That that is that is action. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No and checks you also required. have a herbalist in the party. Mm -hmm. I feel like Ohm so. smells them before Ohm sees them. Just, ah, ah, blackberries. Uh, so, Alec, is this room perhaps near... I'm just curious, where do you think your mother would keep such an object that, as the one that you're looking for if she did not keep it in the um, uh, place that she did the majority of her work? I don't think we saw anything in the... Um, uh, um, I don't think we saw anything in the private quarters or chambers that would match the description of what you've given to us. I'm not sure. My mother was in charge of the test, so I imagine it's stored somewhere safe, somewhere deeper in the Citadel, perhaps, but deeper. unfortunately, unfortunately, as an Armager, I've never had access to the maps of this place. Your guess is as good as mine. Strange that they would... Well, then again, I guess you did come here more so on your own personal will. I this am officially on vacation at this time, yes. Understood. <laughs> well, I hope you are having a pleasant vacation then. But um, well, it looks like this place used to be a room storage area, or storage for the records and whatnot. But well, can I? I know you said like it looks like most of them are kind of like shoddy. But does it look like maybe I could find something that looks like? Possibly it was once a map of the facility. Um, give me. Well, I'm already critically succeeded at perception check. You can find like bits and pieces, but not really a whole lot of anything. And those bits and pieces have been exposed to the elements for so long that they're pretty ruined. Still, I'll probably collect the bits and pieces and kind of like look them over. Well, if nothing else. We do have some of these, and if we can't find it today, at the very least, these maybe with some magic. I do know a few mending spells. I'm not certain if that will solve all of our problems, but it might be a step in the right direction if we just repair these these documents back together to the point at which we can use them a bit more. I appreciate it, friend. While this is going on, I catch Pollux's eye and kind of do the, you know, head shake. Let's head this way. I will follow my goblin cohorts, because short squad. <laughs> <laughs> I am following, because nobody has healing yeah. tears or healing spit in this shorty squad. I'll probably be looking, I'll probably be one of the last uh, people to walk excuse along. Excuse you, I have, ex uh, I have uh, uh, life elixir. The alchemist jingles yeah. the alchemist belt where all of the healing is. Yeah. Is uh, when Ulm is signaling Bullux to go somewhere, is this a like so Alec doesn't see kind of thing? Or is this yes. just a, Okay, got it. Stealthy. He will. As he's engaged in a conversation, oof. 
Oh, uh, uh, still kind of getting used to this sheet. New sheet, who does? Uh, Hmm. Got it. Uh, so a fumble is a fumble in second edition. Alec yeah. doesn't notice Bullocks, but does notice Ohm, like, shake head, go this way. He doesn't say anything about it. He just continues talking to Charles about yeah. fixing up the, the records room. And Perhaps Charles from... probably yeah probably doesn't even notice they're around until he turns around and he's like, Hey, Ohm, Bullocks, do you guys have... Oh, oh, did they leave? Oh, shucks. It appears they did. And oh, Alec reaches down, uh, grabs a blackberry, downs it. When I get a chance quietly to bollocks, I say, yes, he's our ally for this point. Uh, just please try not to antagonize him, and you might want to move your pin the one of the Bellflower Network that you keep on your collar. It's behind my ear, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, it's that pretty flower. Mm -hmm. ah. And I would agree with you. He steps out of line. He's getting dragon claw up his butt. <laughs> <laughs> I slip my flower underneath my cape. If it really comes to that, I'll hand you some lightning. If it comes to that, I believe you'll have plenty of help. Speaking of which, my friend Alchemist, I happen to have, I find myself with two extra flasks of lesser Alchemist fire that I don't seem to have need for. I've bought them as a backup, but considering that my cantrips are way more powerful, I was wondering if you could make better use of them. I would. Um, would you like them? Uh, um, yeah. Um, I, or the lightning. I, uh, Either of you. You know what? I'll let you have the fire and I'll take the lightning because splash damage is a thing and with okay. fire... Well, they're more lasting issues. Yes. So uh, I will hand my last two um, bottled lightnings to Ohm, take the two alchemist fires, tuck into my bag. Bottled lightning uh, looks really good for the rogue who went into alchemist. Yeah. Oops, mm -hmm. flat-footed. I just love that we can share. Yeah, that's really cool too. The squad of alchemists, they're modern problems require modern solutions. <laughs> Bottled lightning four. Okay, so then I was I was, adjust, I was adjusting my count. Give me a sec. Of course, got you. So from where you guys are standing now, uh, Bullock's Ohm, and Annie could get like here was where like the stairs were that led up, and one of the Grolodons. Oh, uh, Bullock's missed that. That's important too. Uh, it has been determined that the creatures you fought in the courtyard were from very far south of where you guys are from, a la like mm -hmm. the, the Mwangi expanse south. And it uh, is somewhere around here, there is a, a Ayudara. And the thought is that these things probably came through it. And they tried to go up the stairs and couldn't. This has caved in. But with athletics checks to jump, you could like get into the like busted tower here and make your way around. There, of course, is another door uh, on the other side of the records room as well. All right, athletics. Okie dokie. I'm not sure what the critical success for an athletics check looks like, but yeah, that would. I'm pretty sure that does it. That would getting a running start. Very backflip. Okay. Actually, no, he's a draconic bloodline sorcerer. For a couple of seconds, the wings manifest. I want to say that. He tries to fly, and they, it's not much. The cape kind of just solidifies enough to give you a bit of a glide. You're like a tango at low level, basically. And you just. I will uh, secure a rope and drop it to my comrades. Okay. The rope would allow for a much easier athletics check to cross, certainly. Uh, 
Alec uh, will make his way I'll, over. Yeah, I'll yeah, pop my head in and we had originally planned on going around the other direction, but since you've already flown across, we'll go from there. Um, only athletics or will acrobatics work? Oh, let me go check the, the curb real quick. I actually completely forget. I'm, I will I will always ask this because I'm better in acrobatics. <laughs> yep. It's that old classic. Why can't I just acrobatics? Let me acrobatics up that tree. Parkour! Uh, That's it. Parkour. Parkour! Uh, acrobatics decks. Maneuver in flight, tumble through. Uh, yeah, you could balance. That seems fair to me. Like tree to like tightrope walking. But that's probably not, it's not a fumble, but it's a failure. So you try to like move across the rope. The rope is a little shaky. You don't get anywhere. Mm, second attempt. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing stopping you from trying it. Mm, there you go. There it is. Bang, Ohm's good. Uh, Balak's gonna try to athletics. Uh, he'll. I guess he'll try to like end over end and he's got enough strength that uh, he can have plate mail and eat it too, basically. And he's gonna fall. I said eat it too, and he's just gonna hit the dirt. Okay, never mind. He's good. He's a little shakier than you guys are because he like is dropping down and like carrying himself, trying to like balance on the rubble and using the rope as a guide. But good enough. There are two doors. Alec. Yes. Did we? Uh, did I give you? Did any of us give you a potion or elixir? Yeah, he's carrying. Uh, an elixir of life, I believe. Um, your since front we aren't line, in combat, you... ticks. Can I take ten? Uh, take ten is assurance at this point. And I also I realized I miscalled it, and I told I told spell this on Discord, but I'm gonna say it here now. I didn't realize that assurance in second edition was not just the like 10, 15, 20, 25 that it was in the playtest. It's literally just taking ten with your proficiency. So it's probably playable. Would you like me to open the door then? I was not aware. Me and um, Alec had progressed. My apologies, by the yeah. way. I okay. thought we were still back there for a few more minutes until, you know. Since you are a, a front line here, you may want to take a second one of them. I would uh, offer him another um, elixir of life. He takes it happily and opens the door and heads into the room and makes a perception check. And is promptly killed by Mutna. Bang. B has no idea. What even is this room? I don't think we're in Citadel uh, Altaran anymore. If you guys would like to make perception checks as well. And then uh, Q-Tug and Ben Charles are still hanging around back. Bullocks dives into Alex's shadow. What even is this room? Alrighty. What do we need to make in order to get across, by the way? Uh, athletics, if you would like to end over end or use the rope as a guide. Acrobatics, if you want to try to tie a rope block. And athletics is my better skill anyway. And there you go. Alrighty. A judge's bench, a super fast cute duck. A judge's bench, a witness stand, and counselor's tables are the only remaining indication of this room's previous use as a formal courtroom. Benches have long ago been smashed to fragments and strewn about the gallery, covering the floor of the room in debris. Though several empty doorways, through several empty doors rather, to the north, a large ragged opening to the citadel's wall is visible, along with what appears to be a corpse wearing silvery armor lying on a muddy lump in the center of a pool that has filled much of the collapsed section. And I really quickly, what I will do is, as you guys move into the room, it's something I'm not super used to yet, but I like it better, I think, than opposed roles. Uh, we've got, you needed to beat that. So Cube Talk beats it. Uh, uh, who I think just Cube Talk. No, Cube Talk and Bullocks and Anastasia all beat it. Okay, so wait, am I also to make a perception? Sorry, I'm uh, you trying can. not to assume. Okay, I'm trying not to assume things. Appreciate you. And Charles beats it as well. Uh, Alec and uh, 
I, names are hard. Alec and Ohm aren't quite sure, but I'll go ahead and mark it on the map because a lot of you have noticed it. The mound that the corpse is lying on appears to be moving. That's alive. And uh, it would be behind a nature check, basically. Oh, once they point it out. <laughs> yeah, Alex, this is the best potion I've ever seen in my life. Anastasia I has actually, it, has it I actually, hard. Good. I actually just uh, just said that uh, that is alive, pointing. <laughs> And the creature is, Bullocks isn't sure, Qtac's not sure, uh, Alm sees it and is like, oh, that might be some kind of like turtle thing. Uh, so, can I, is it nature only or could I roll an arcana? This one's just nature. Uh, this I'm, one's I'm a little less roll. fancy. Because uh, I'm just, I just have a zero. I had a 14 nature. on it. And 14 is more than good enough. Like I said, it is, the creature is known as a grave shell. It's, Great. they are, uh, they aren't, like they're smarter than the average bear and the average turtle and they lure in their prey by putting shiny things basically in spikes on the back of their shell the idea is you see it you think oh shiny and then you move towards it and then it like it'll rise up out of the water and attack you um so grave thing um i forget what it what's called but grave shell said the word all right, so grave shell. Um, don't get too close. It's uh, tempting us to, so it can bite us. Well, that's certainly a fascinating type of creature. Wonder Nature how the... is so fascinating. Nature wants to kill us all slowly, apparently. Also. Well, here's the question: Can it actually openings? Um. That is a fair point. Yeah, as I go and look at the board, it probably, it could probably get its head through. Think of it as like an alligator snapping turtle with an extra set of legs and a like a shell with spikes on it and a like more finned tail. It could probably bite through, but it couldn't like, uh, where's my mouse? Ah, too many monitors. It couldn't go like here without trying to squeeze, which is a check and takes a considerable amount of time. Uh, okay, then can I get a perception check to try to see what shiny things it might have collected to uh, tempt us with? Yeah, sure. Already. What do you have, friend? What are you, boy? So, as you guys are all looking around and say, loot room, got it, well done. Uh, there's a lot of damaged furniture in this place, and given that fact, it appears that the looters haven't discovered, like, over the years, all of the loose change that has fallen out of pockets, coin purses of spectators, so on and so forth. Uh, you find that the first thing as Alm looks down is like, here is a silver piece. If you were to look longer, you could probably find more. As far as the, on the back of the grave shell goes, clearly like that shiny silver thing is a chain shirt. It looks like uh, there's no heraldry no sigildry on it probably just some kind of looter or bandit or something that happened to run afoul of the grave shell it seems to also have like a couple of coin purses on its belt as well of course you would have well, to then. go ask real nice mm -hmm. do we want to kill the shell and try to take its stuff i'm curious hey alec do you think that anything on that thing's body could maybe Hold your mother's item. I seriously doubt it. Unless that poor unfortunate... That's that's the third time in several games this weekend that I've said poor unfortunate souls, and I'm not meaning to do it. <laughs> Unless that poor unfortunate soul happened to abscond with it. Which, considering he looks like a looter, it probably uh, he might have. So I think we're going to have to do... I mean, we are also looking for the deed to this place, and if he's a looter, then... Well, I mean, do we necessarily have to kill the thing if we want the um, uh, the loot on it or the items of when um, it's back? Maybe, maybe not. But we are trying to make this place safe for goblins. So, uh, uh, one way or another, it's got to go. A grave well, shell's head is about the size of a goblin. So, yeah. 
Uh, I, I just hate to kill things that aren't actively out of going out of their way to kill us, but then again, um, it's this... consider consider it this way. It is using a dead body and coins and other such treasury type bits to lure us to become its prey. It consumes living beings. I mean, we consume living beings on one hand, but on the other hand, that is Sentient absolutely living beings. That is absolutely fascinating that it realizes what type of objects would be deemed valuable in the local society. I wonder if that's a, just a trait that it learns innately, or if there's some sort of magical tampering. Ponder it later, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> and as this is going on, Ohm just shaking his head quietly pats this direction All right, sounds to good. see what's in here. All right, give me that perception check. What is it? Well... If nothing else, me and Alec can take points. So, I... but before before anything else goes, I need a reception from Ohm. Okay, so Ohm moves into the room. This open area with a clear view into the courtroom to the east is littered with piles of filthy blankets, half-gnawed bones, and other signs that some sort of creature is squatting here. As basically as soon as as Ohm moves into that room. Uh some of the blankets and like things and stuff begin to stir and a head pops out followed very quickly by another one very very dark black fur sniffing and growling and baring its little teeth a pair of puppies as i look and see that someone has rolled initiative you monster (laughs) (laughs) a pair of Puppies, you say. Very dark, matte black fur. Maybe closer to something more akin to like a... Ah, uh, doing a look. There's many things. Uh, can you... Uh, Arcana doesn't help you. Nature, they appear to be wolf cubs. They move up, they begin. Yeah. Both of them move to Ulm and start sniffing. And Anastasia, it's probably really flavorful that the girl from Irison gets it. They're not wolf cubs, they're warg puppies. Warg oh. puppies? They're warg puppies. You can Ooh, it probably like wargs. as they come up and sniff, there is a like a certain degree of intelligence to them, and Ohm probably notices it too. Uh like rather than just being a dog jumping up, it like pushes on your sword, nudges your hand, starts sniffing for where food is. Probably like the occasional playful nip as well. Hmm. And I guess uh, also I with the perception forget, checks uh, that have been th- uh, thrown around, the grave shell definitely knows you guys are there. It seems to be just waiting to ambush. Yeah. Uh, are the, are with the 17 I got, are the warg puppies, are they, gen- are, are wargs in general um, something to worry about directly, or I mean, I know they're intelligent beings, but can they be reasoned with, or are they just normally well instantly? Let me let me get my facts straight here, because it's a new edition. Yeah, wargs are probably like a full-grown warg is about as smart as you imagine Alec might be. You've probably met some people that are dumber than wargs. Oh uh, Jesus! Typically yeah, they're, they're speaking. <laughs> Typically speaking, the average wargs, especially in Irisin, which has, like, villages of winter wolves that are only winter wolves at night and are humans by day, they are known for their malevolence. They are known to, like, goblins and other small tribal society structured creatures would make alliances with them to serve as mounts and things like that. With that in mind, uh, there's definitely a little bit of nature versus nurture there. They are sentient. They are not necessarily, like, by virtue of what they are, evil. Yeah. Um, so her response to seeing them is, oh, cute little year, uh, work puppies. Ooh, uh, are, is the mom around? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's, where's mom? Uh, um, where is mom? Hello, mom. You don't see any other, like signs of anybody that has come through, either humanoid or wolf. At this point, the the wargs realize that there are a bunch of other people here, and they begin making their way through, like, the where court was held. They go sniffing at everybody. They go sniffing at Alec. 
Alec is, he hears the word warg and he goes to his halberd. You're so young. Oh, hello there, little yeah, one. Dude. Goes scritching behind yeah, the chin and relax. the ears. Um, I will feed I them would, blackberries. Uh, okay. Stop trying, stop trying to feed them blackberries. They're, uh, they're carnivores, and I would pull any uh, preserved meat out of my rations. Oh, hey, I'm trying to split it between them. I'm not, yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I feel like probably omnivores. Um, if, they're, if, omnivores, if they're wolves, then they're probably omnivores, because I'm pretty certain wolves are omnivores as well. Although they're... They're well, prime uh, carnivores. They're Actually, primarily carnivores. Primarily yeah, carnivores. They would prefer they meat, can... but I imagine... Yeah, they probably at least sniff at them, and if well, you offer them berries, actual, they would eat it. Actual... Will it consume some uh, vegetable and plant matter, but they are obligate carnivores. Right. So if it has any kind of a, um, of a, a digestive tract like a wolf, it is an obligate carnivore. But they might still enjoy the flavor. Yeah. yeah. It might not it's be the, the best for them, but they take it. And uh, well, it's uh, only yeah, a you can mess up their stomach very bad, dude. Yeah. And in addition, uh, Annie knows that wargs are like food is kind of the thing that drives them the most. That is the they are smart, but basically. Their only real desires are eat this, shelter here, move on, so on and so forth. At least, like, um, that's the uh, the cookie-cutter warg, shall we say. Yeah. I don't actually know if they uh, have a, um, a language, but I would uh, split up whatever meat rations I have between the two of them. And, um, you know, just try to... I would... Li- it, it, do I know if they speak a language? Uh, in general yeah you you did pretty good on the check a warg can uh they can definitely learn languages oftentimes they'll learn to speak uh orcish goblin uh the languages of the ancestries that they most often run with shall we say but it's not okay. uncommon for them to know common okay i would try in common uh common draconic goblin and jotun uh, do are y'all here alone? Is your mom around? Uh, just I'm still reading. I want to see. Uh, give me a diplomacy check if you would. Okay. Are these creatures smart enough they can understand human talk? They yes, haven't they quite, quite intelligent. They are very intelligent, but the no, I'm asking this in character, out of character. Yeah. Uh, and she spoke in character. Yes, nerds. Uh, <laughs> these the pups are really young. They are, like, obviously they're able to, like, get up and move and eat and things, but they aren't quite developed enough yet to have a language. But they see the food, and they like the food, and they come, like, snuggling up to Annie. You talk, and you ask questions and things, and they respond to it as in to understand. They just don't have the language to communicate yet. Huh. Okay. Then I'd share that with them. I don't think these are old enough to know a language yet. I don't think I've seen these creatures before. Then again, I haven't traveled much until But recently. that being said, um, I would suggest keeping some meat because, uh, or if you have any in your rations, because if their mom shows up, uh, we may have to bribe our way out of here. I still got plenty of meat. That being said, we could also try killing the shell uh, shell skulker over there because turtle is actually a rather nice meat. I don't know if uh, grave shells are, but it can be cleaned. Quite dangerous. Mm, no good for goblins. No good for war. I mean, do I see, like, any bits of, like, armor and whatnot just laying around in the room, Tommy? Not really. Uh, one thing that is noticed by, like, Cube Talk's nature check and the perception is both of the wargs are, like, they are very eager for food because it is their nature, but in addition, they are, like, skin and bones. It's pretty obvious that, like, these guys are old enough to get up, move around. They are not old enough to fend for themselves yet. Oh, if they're skin and bones, then they've been left. Yeah. Um, with, uh, I should also say, with several nature-y, medicine-y things that are thrown around, uh, both of the puppies are female. Both of the puppies are what? Female. Okay. Um, does anyone else have any, any rations that they can uh, pass? Because these things are starving. Surely. I, I am didn't... using prestidigitation to clean them up real quick. Okay, understood. They seem to like it. They they have a 
they don't have really much of a concept of what magic is yet because they're little babbies, but their fur is clean and they move over to cute talk and start like, the nips are like playful starting to go over into like, this would hurt because they're like, mm -hmm. they're pretty big for puppies. Oh, I just had to deal with a puppy that did, was doing that to me like over the week. I had, I was watching, I was puppy sitting for a friend. Oh. All right. Well, um, and, I'm um, going to. I will give you one more nature check if you can. Yeah, sure. And that is to see if I remember if. Uh, well, that doesn't help, but I'll tell you what it was for anyway. Okay. Uh, that was a, that was actually to see if I could recall whether um, grave shell meat is toxic. Ah, uh, probably not. It's. They surround themselves with death as a means of baiting things, but they themselves are not, like, you could eat it. Okay. Oh, oh. Turtle my soup. Nature, Pretty much. My nature check was to coax, to uh, huh? indicate to them that they are being a little too rough and try to coax them into a more uh, gentle nipping and mouthing level. Gotcha. Can you make that in the form of a diplomacy check? These guys are smart enough that they can... They don't speak yet, they're, but they can, like, they're not animals, basically. Yeah, they're sentient creatures, dude. And as that happens, uh, Cube Talk's just like, oh, point. that's so cute, stop. And there's just, like, little jaws around wrist, and it hurts, and you, ah! And then yeah. the ward yeah, lets I'm go. Yeah, I'm using my hero point. I hear um, you. Little uh, too rough, sweeties. <laughs> and they turn, and both of them go charging it home. They're about, uh, how big is a full-grown warg? Is a, is a warg large? I feel like they were large, right? Um, uh, I think, I'm not sure, but I do know that they are, they were used as mounts in most fiction orcs, that I've yeah. seen. Yeah. Uh, so in second edition, the warg is medium. So, yeah. Large. So these guys are like, oh, they're little pups. They're not super big yet. They're probably like, I'm going to say like gut high to a goblin. And they just like... Oh, tries to go talk to him and they both come up and like pounce and knock you over and start like the playful nips that are yeah. verging on like ah that hurts a little all right this is not going to get any better yeah. i think we should take care of the shell and see if we can cook uh get some meat for these two i'm going to pass him some of my meat too I agree. Okay. Okay. little ones calm they just kind of we're sit. going to get you more food okay Stay with us, and we will take care of you. I'm going to throw the meat into the corner to try to get them to uh, preoccupy it away from the upcoming battle. Uh, <laughs> Sounds good. Do that. If, all, if only we had pig's ears. If only. So as you guys are doing all this and having like all these conversations and stuff, there's a door right here the door begins to shake as if something on the other side is pushing on it trying to open it and there's a low growl from the other side a growl yeah what type uh very uh nature check in nature i guess i'll say yeah that's definitely a warg the growl like if I were to sit here and go, like, make a growling sound, but that sound sounds like I'm saying growl or, like, sounds a little too human, that's that's the idea. Yeah. Um, on the other side of the door? Yeah, right on the other so side like of the door. Like she's been trapped and can't get out or something? Um, I mean, it's the sort of situation that we're in. It's like it couldn't get into its pups. Seems more like it's trying to break the door down. Okay. Um. I'd call out in Goblin to it. Uh, calm down, calm down. I'm not doing anything to the pups. If you want in, you know, just scratch the door. Okay. There is a scratching at the door. All right. Well, I will let you in, but we we are just trying. We just fed the okay. pups. Me no harm. I, yes, taking care of puppies. Okay. All right. And if you said this door. Yeah. Uh, before right. you get it ready. Uh, I will have so I a really, really quickly before before, before any of that happens, I had to do a secret roll, and the secret roll comes up as a one. As you guys get a little close, there's a, a snickering on the other side, and it's very obvious to all of you. You say scratch if you want the door open. It wants the door open, so it can attack you. Did we hear the snickering? Yeah, That's you did. I, I rolled a one. I, there was a secret check. You can see it if you're watching on YouTube's. It's a big old fumble. 
New, I say okay. new door. Who dis? I <laughs> <laughs> uh, make a deception right. check to try to trick the. Okay, sounds good. Over my perception DC, good. I like DCs instead of opposed rolls. It feels like things are easier to beat. Where's my perception though? Uh, okay, uh, the scratching continues at the same rate as if the like seems to be the. Creature, the warg on the other side thinks its plan is working, basically. Right. Scratch, scratch, Hold scratch. I, I, I wave to Alex mm -hmm. and point to a spot here, indicating he should move there and prepare. He does. He moves and uh, sets his halberd, basically. Where should I go? Uh... I forget if the dynamic lighting makes this fun. Is there an opening over here? No, there is presently. There's one opening there, and there's a, a door here, and you guys okay. see a door over here, which would, it would both track into the room where the warg is, but put you where the, the grave shell could get to you. Of course, your circle yeah. is black, so we, it's hard to see over the... Yep, I yeah. hear that all the time. Hang on. So I'm gonna, here we go. There's basically okay. some opening over here. Right here. Yeah. And then, like, over here. Uh, I would point Cube Tuck and uh, Charles mm -hmm. over, over here. Okay. That way. And... I am making sure I have a bottle of bottled lightning ready to toss. Got it. Wait, wait, before we begin, I can further get the numbers in our favor if you want, but I'd only be able to do it once today. Uh, you just, it, it won't require much time, but it might be better for me to cast it, the yeah. spell, before we open the door. Uh, no longer will take a floor. Hand, yeah. Hand over lips. And I look over to Anastasia. Is this where I be? Uh, can, yes. Actually, can q -Tuck pick a square for me? I know there's not a like a grid to snap to, but right now you're standing in the middle of four of them. All right, that was the right answer. As you as you move a little too close to where the grave shell is, the grave shell turns your direction, but then you back off, and it thinks it needs to stay and hide, and you don't get eaten by a turtle. In any case, um, and I would also like to ask uh, Ami. So I am asking the party if they wanted to cast summon construct. Okay. Do I have your permission to look in the bestiary for the purpose of finding a creature to satisfy the requirements of that spell? I think the only one you can summon is a animated broom. I think I could well, be wrong. Creatures might say, yeah, we're kind of we're kind of low level, so well, it's well, a, I mean, it's a, yeah, you're level I mean, one and you're casting it at level minus one. Two. There is we're level two. Oh yes, uh, I don't think it's heightened yet. I it's not heightened yet. So I you can to... only you can only summon a level minus one thing, and the only level minus one construct in the book right now is an animated broom. All right. Shoo, walk! <laughs> I mean, you know, it, it's an idea. I was right, like, yeah. eh, it might be useful. I mean, I don't disagree um, with you. Yeah, they're, they're, they're not bad. I it's distinctly remember uh, back in the day of you know, the playtest, uh, Lucia's Barbarian, she couldn't, she was worried because a animated armoire could take her down in one hit. I, I just, I also ask before I go looking through the bestiary, so that way, like, so that way I could figure out the spell. Yeah, yeah, by all means, that's fine. Okay. That's it's just it's metagaming if you go look at what a warg is. It is not metagaming if the summoner needs to go get so many things. Okay, so everybody is in the position. Um, mm -hmm. Bolix is using deception for initiative very clearly. Uh, yeah, and had a 24 before the 21, so we'll let that go. Alec is just going to... He'll keep his 13, I suppose. And if everybody else could... Actually, hold on. Hold on. Uh, I don't think I should have used that. Well, um, 
I was actually trying to reason with the animal. Did you, should I have used diplomacy instead for my initiative, or what? Um, yeah. mm -hmm. I'll let you roll deception, because the idea here now, as I understand it, is we want to open the door and surprise it. Is that? I'm curious, since I'm also like in the middle of casting the spells, we open the door. Could I use Arcana? You, this is sure. Why not? I'm just curious because <laughs> you're like, probably it's, right. It's it makes sense. Sure, screw it. I'm Go just curious because you know, with the way now initiative is tied directly to a skill, I'm just curious. There is a. And because I'm a master thief, I am crawling on my belly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, Tommy, I have reset my character sheet so that way now I am room scar dedicated. Dope. So, right, so, in case you're curious why I'm now suddenly an expert at Arcana, that's why. Noted. All right, so then we got a 19 on you, and uh, I'm going to have the warg keep its one. It is trying to be deceptive. Yeah, that seems good to me. And so then I think I've gotten something from everybody at this point. I never cleared the turn order. I'm going to say it's good. If, if you have a problem, speak now or forever. It's Bullock's first. Yeah. Okay. Um, did you guys, I, I guess before initiative starts, did someone want to open the door? What? Let's see. I, I'm going to try to uh, keep the the dogs calm. Okay. Um... Uh, you said that was more of a diplomacy. Diplomacy. I guess I more want to keep them distracted. They don't get surprised here, so I, I want to like just make create a diversion. Okay. Yeah, I'd really because... hate to kill these adorable, um, kill yeah. these adorable puppies' mother in front of. Yeah. Yeah. Deception is is you. more my my yeah. my forte anyway. So. And you okay. are literally considering... creating a distraction. Okay. Fair yeah. enough. Considering she actually has starved them to use as bait to get us, uh, yeah, I don't care. Oh God, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, neither did yeah. I. Jesus, but yeah. you're They're right. Scrawny. What man? You two. <laughs> I guess I guess Kiki and I are the only people with a. I am naturally lawful good. Okay, I am naturally like took the all the alignment tests I've ever taken have always had me as a lawful good person. Which I I find the culture I come from finds the idea so abhorrent that the very idea a parent would do that just doesn't even enter my radar. They're and, naturally, I mean, they're, they're evil beings unless otherwise yeah. stated, and they have starving kids and a wolf on the other side, or a warg on the other side of the door that was waiting for us to be here. Is that the end of yeah. the yeah. as bait. It's by no yeah. means like a difficult thing to suggest. It's a yeah, I just, yeah, once again, it's just yeah. very interesting. Right, combat. interesting combat is happening as Bullock's done. Sociology uh, later, yeah. Yeah, I'm basically <laughs> trying to distract them from the, the mother and so to, uh, for this action. So, and I have a lengthy diversion. Okay, yeah. Uh, whoa! That I is needed a token. Sir. Here's a broom. It's, it's Hero! Hero returns! Hero! <laughs> hero is coming to save us all! I'm a broom now. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Uh, I'll say that you oh, had enough time to cast oh, beforehand. You'd have to keep the Jingasa. <laughs> he has a pretty hat and he loves it. He throws his hair. <laughs> and the summoning is successful. I uh, off you go. There it is, Russ. Yeah, I guess uh, yeah, I guess I guess for my initiative, since the door isn't open, I'll have cast it and just like kind of like <laughs> reach into my pat kind of like grab a stick, tie some hair together, and then just like toss it up while seeing some arcane words and suddenly it starts dancing on its own. <laughs> Fair okay. enough. Is, is, it, is it the broom that's going to shout bad war? I am literally going to. I was literally planning on saying, clean up that mess. I always wanted to say that. <laughs> I'm, I'm imagining one of those little broom horses. Yeah. You know, like the little horses, to horse yes. horse toys. They're like rocks back and forth. Mm. Yes. Oh, adorable hobby horse. Anyway. Okay. But well, what you got for us, Ross? Well, since the doors are not open and whatnot, I'm going to assume that it was a somatic, verbal, and material, which, because it's not a defined amount, and I have a shoe material, just becomes yet another somatic component. Mm -hmm. I just spend the turn, like, act summoning the broom forth and being okay. like, hey, look, it works. 
Awesome. And the broom has two actions immediately. Um, can it? Okay, I can't move the token. So... Oh, oops. One sec. Stand by. I knew I did something wrong. Controlled by everyone. Everyone is hero. Leo, Leo just purrs in my ear, and I'm like, "Thank you, Leo. Thank you for believing in me." And I'm gonna. The broom is going to. I'm just gonna say, "Get ready to clean up some. Get ready to clean up a mess, broom." I can't believe I just said that in combat. Um, and the broom's just going to move over to the side and just hold its action to use its um uh, bristles attack. Sounds good. We all Wait. stop speaking. You can hear us through the door. <laughs> and I, it's I on said, home. Oh, uh, wait, I should, I should move it here. My apologies. It's going to be ready at the door. Uh, oh, is it, it's is... coming through this door, right? It's coming no. through this door. Oh, this door. Okay, I'm, I misunderstood which door. Sorry. It's all good. Because yeah. I just wanted to be, like, beside the door, right? To just, like, smack it. Trip it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I am holding actions for the door to be opened. Thank you, Zach. Spell. He exploded. Yes. What are you doing on your Um I am getting ready to Ooh, I guess, hold action. Uh, yeah, hold action and getting ready to divine lance when it gets within range. Alrighty. So it falls to Alec. Well, I suppose I can let the wolf in. Step interact to open the door. The wolf has no readied anything because it's at the bottom of initiative. And bang. And then with Alex's last action, he will attempt to strike the pupper. It's much more than a pupper. It's much bigger than a pupper. And Halbert! You could even go so far as to say doggo. And doggo. Super doggo. The biggest of doggo. The greatest, mightiest doggo this side of the doggo Mississippi. Ah, uh, why has my PDF pooped? Uh, 14, I'm sure, misses. And... Wouldn't that be the Master 50? <laughs> Perhaps. In any case, it passes to... Well, there are if... Uh, QDoc doesn't have line of sight right now. So it's on Annie. Bad. Uh, Fire bad again. Wow. Fair enough. Okay. It still takes the one on that second one. Gotcha. Already, I'm pretty sure I gotta... Actually, I need to reopen a new window because my PDF crashed. Fortunately, we've got a well up-to-date SRD. Hoorah! I'm sure 19 hits. Um, Does this trigger my animated broom's held action of smacking it when it sees it? Yeah, yeah, you're in range. You can. Um, uh, hold on, I got one more. Uh, this is at a neg 10, but hey, whatever, I'll take it anyway. Uh, that's a 21 to hit. Gotcha. Yeah, that's that's your reaction. It, it yeah. replaces your held action. Mm-hmm. So 12. Yep, understood. 12 misses. Uh, Warg. There you but are. it still takes one. It takes one. A 19 did I... definitely hit. So. And does it, I presume, a 21 hits? It does, yeah. Okay, right. so it has one persistent fire on it, and I think, no, two persistent fire, because it's the splash damage that's persistent on the uh, on the alchemist fires. Sure. Also, um, as it opens the door, the broom just like sweeps up, whacking it with the bristles in the face, and bringing up a bunch of dust into its face. I'm going to need it to make me a fortitude save. Why, yes you are. All right, here we go. Um... Also, having uh, thrown the fires at it, how dare you starve these children? Its fortitude save comes down to uh, quite good, actually. It uh, does anything happen on a critical success? I didn't critically. I just barely uh, didn't critically succeed. Never mind. I mean, the the chances, you know, the DC is fifteen fortitude okay. save. Yeah. So all told, I have a twenty-three. Oh yeah, yeah. You pass, and there's mm, yeah, nothing happens then. Basically. I just like the animated broom's little bonus feature it has, so it's really good. It is pretty good. Okay, Alm had a held action. Or Alm was delaying, yeah. I guess, rather. So, we shall start. Okay. Uh, uh, ten does miss. That, 
okay, but it'll take uh, one splash. Okay. And I will move five, sorry, 10, 20, no. Nah. I can't get far enough, so I will move move forward to here and pull my second sword. Okay, sounds good. That does it. And it's on the warg who has an ability and takes two percent of fire damage. Who has an ability I didn't expect it to have. That's this is gonna get. Uh, the warg turns in, in goblin, just get out of my way, weakling! And it's gonna do a bite at Annie. One, a d20 plus 11, bang, 15 to hit. Oh. You're muted. Me? 16 AC. Oh, fair enough. Like, I can hear me. Here is me, the glory of me. And second attack. Basically, it's just going to keep trying to do the same thing. Ten, nine, mm -hmm. And it, uh, I do not believe my bites are agile. Second attack is an eight. And then last attack is a seven. And he is able to dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. And it's on bullocks. Okay. Uh, well, um, I suppose I'm going to ask it why. Uh, are you starving these children? Yep. It just Is growls he... and then goblins just move, weak goblin scum. Well, will not let you harm these children anymore. <sighs> these cops... Is it is it a male or a female? One? From where you're standing, you don't have line of sight to it. Everybody else would need a nature check on their turn for one action. Stand down immediately. Explain yourself. As yeah, you get that, that's exactly what we'll do in the middle of combat. We will sex a hostile warg. I'm trying to do this while I'm distracting the pups. <laughs> what? Uh, what? What? What did you say? Me? No, him. I... He said he was that. Yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do in the middle of combat. Sex a hostile warg. Not that way. I'm sure we don't mean it that way. No, no. Mean so we're we're running running gender. Biological <laughs> sex. Uh, Find the biological. Okay. No, I was trying to determine what it's what it was after. At first, I heard it the other way. To just, Cuke talk. In any case, yeah. yeah, it just continues growling and spitting and cursing and goblin. Okay, well, um, I'm. Can I sense what it's doing, like with perception? Yeah, you could try to make yeah. a perception check. I'm not great at that, but let's see if the, my sense motive, because I'm, I'm just suspicious as to why this thing couldn't get out of here, and yet this is a trap. Seems to be it, like. A warg is strong enough. It doesn't have, like, thumbs, but it could push yeah. open a door pretty easily. It stands to reason. It could be using its children as bait if its children... They, eh, yeah, that's a reasonable jump. Those are probably its pups. Actually, matter of fact, the fur is basically the same color. Mm -hmm. uh, what it's doing at the moment is it seems to be trying to satiate its hunger on Annie. On, on it. Okay. Uh, in that case, I'm going to, since it is attacking my friends, um, do they still seem distracted? Yeah. By my... mm -hmm. So I'm. Uh, I'll while they're distracted, I will go and spend an action to uh, produce flame. Tags the oh, wall. That wasn't great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, throw shield up just in case. Try okay. and defend the pups. Alrighty. I think it passes to Charles. Sounds good. Oh, boy. Okay. 
Um, if it's my turn, then I'm going to spend an action commanding the broom to um, uh, continue cleaning up the mess. I can't believe I get to say this. God, this is why I play Pathfinder. Um, <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and take care of the broom. It's going to spend both of its actions attacking the warg. Sounds good. Uh, oh my god, okay. 24. Ouchie. Yeah, I'm sure that hits. And uh, 11. 11, and not before, so much. And before you know, uh, the broom's natural attack bristle is an agile attack. Sure. So that's why I took the minus four. So uh, so it takes four points of um, uh, takes four points of bludgeoning damage, and I need that four to say, oh yeah, no. It passes. You swatted in the snoot with a broom, and it seems mostly just angry. There's kind of like a well, panic the... <laughs> as the dust comes out, but... Well, more so the broom itself is swatting the thing in the snoot, and I'm just like, this is working far too well. Now I see why so many of my siblings went into conjuration magic. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, and then for my next two actions, I am going to... Um... I'm just going to have, like, can I use, can I have, like, a bit of, like, just wood that's broken somebody nearby? Yeah. Just, like, dart into the warg and try to make a telekinetic attack against it with piercing being the um, uh, physical type? Yeah. Because it does say in the, okay, because the spell itself says that depending on what it is hit with determines, um determines the damage type mm -hmm. yeah there's definitely enough it, debris in the citadel that you can whatever damage type you want that does miss though and that misses mm -hmm. wouldn't, wouldn't it have to make okay. a will save against fetching the stick <laughs> 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 it's your turn cute dog i think telekinetic telekinetic words are hard projectiles telekinetic two projectile actions. takes two actions a somatic and verbal that's what i thought okay all right cute Zach. I'm trying to remember. Point out the door to me again. It's right here. Okay, and I have line of sight to the warg, so mm. I'm going to divine lance now that I've taken him. Sounds good. And he misses. Woof. There's a pun there because it's a dog, but whatever. And Alex Stagrum sees the wolf growling, hears Goblin, doesn't understand Goblin at all. He's a filthy creature. Big on! And it hits. And it takes seven points of ouchy damage. And uh, math is hard. It's not hard at all. That was a multiple. Everyone's watching me on YouTube and laughing at me now. And for his second attack... Alec will uh, do a power attack. He maybe should have done that first. Oh well, no character who this counts as two attacks for calculating your multiple attack penalty. So he'll be swinging with a minus five. And miss. Oh well, GM PCs aren't supposed to steal a show. And Annie's up. If that makes you feel any better, Tommy, about your math issues, I do know a physics PhD student who can't do math without a calculator in his hand to save his life. Fair enough. Good. I'm justified at last. Um, okay. I am going to, um... Don't actually have it on here, but I was going to pull my dagger and stab at it, but I don't know what the damage I have a dagger is. D4. Uh, D4? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to have to roll that one because I don't actually have it of course. programmed in yet. Okay, sounds good. Uh, oh, wait, that's easy enough. Uh, is is it dex or strength? Uh, it's strength, a finesse weapon. It's melee. Oh, it's a finesse weapon? Yep, cool. so dex. can use your dex if you would like. Dagger. Damage and D four. I'm just putting it in real quick so I don't have to. Makes sense. So for it. the next warg that appears, you can be more prepared to stab. I know, right? Well, that's the worst critical I've ever seen in my life. That's 
Oof. Okay, yeah, it takes two damage. You stab it real hard in the throat for not much at all. Uh huh. Second one misses. And then I, I, I will, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll uh, move with the last one. Sure. Boop. And Ohm is next. Okay. Move action. Twin faint. Sounds good. Second one is neg four. Yeah, so this but against flat footed. That is relevant, yeah. I think that. Well, it's minus four. In flat any footed case, is just. Yeah. Flat so footed is just neg two in this mm -hmm. one. So the second one does miss, but the first one does hit, and there is six points of slashing damage. Okay. So that ends my turn. Alrighty. Okay, I'm a pretty smart pupper. I'm the smartest pupper this side of the pupper, Mississippi. I take two persistent fire damage. I don't really like that. It's bad. Uh, Pupper is going to step. So that movement doesn't trigger reactions. And is out of range of Alec when he uses an interact action. You see the dog, like, well, oh, excuse me. The warg stands up and pushes on the door in such a way as to open the door. And then makes its way into the next room. Clearly trying to get away from you. And it passes the bullocks. Technically, like, we're still on initiative, but the creature is trying to disengage. Okay. Uh, uh, I will... I'm kind of distracted. Okay. Are they, do they still look distracted? Yeah. Okay. I will move here and open this door. Alrighty. Sometimes we just have to use our initiative to, in combats to. Why is that? Oh, never mind. It's the way you're standing. Okay. There's like a weird dynamic lighting spike in the middle of the room I wasn't expecting. Alrighty. A18. Okay. Although many uh, of the circular tables and heavy wooden writing desks here are tipped over or otherwise ransacked. The bookshelves against the wall and the nature of the furniture suggest that this was once a room where significant legal research took place. Legal research? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Like research into... Oh. Hmm. Hell knights are That's as hell knights do. I just, I just never thought of the idea of legal research until now. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll move into here. Okay. So then one, two, three goes to Charles. All right, I'm just going to look over to Anna and say, all right, well, if we're killing the turtle, we're killing it now because that thing's not going to last much longer. And then I'm going to look to the broom and say, um, I'm going to spend an action to command it. It's going to question for the GM. Can my broom move like that? It could go five, 10, 15. So, five, five, ten. Or like, rather, like five. Yeah, that works too. Okay. Um, so that's going to be five movement. It's then going to spend another five moving. Okay. And then, yeah, um, so that's, how, did you, how did you do the multiple uh, movement measure thing? Uh, right click while holding on to my token and I just kept right clicking at the spots he was going to stop at. Mm -hmm. Just a good way to show to the GM how he's moving so that way he can validate if it's legal or not. Gotcha. I didn't I didn't know what the uh, function was, so sorry. It's sweet. Alrighty, mm -hmm. and the I'm, Grave Shell enters initiative. I'm going to myself move over here. I know it and says eleven feet, followed. but that's really more like fifteen feet. Count the squares. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. And uh and I presume first diagonal is five, second diagonal is fifteen. You got that's it. Perfect. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Then yeah, I'm gonna move over here and gonna spend my last action to um uh, cast or I'm actually gonna spend my last action and look over to Leo and say, um stay with Alec. And, or no, stay with um uh, stay with Crew Talk. And and so it was. Speaking of Cube Talk. So, uh, since I did command out, um, Leo, Leo would just spend his actions going over to him at Q-Talk. Sure. Makes sense. Okay. Kind of like and, um, on your shoulder. Got it. 
in that case, I will walk within uh, Divine Lance range of the Grave thing and zap it. Alrighty, sounds good. Got quiet. It did. <laughs> I'm just waiting on the, the zap to zap. Yeah. Everyone fill the dead air while Cuke Talk lines yeah. up the shot. I, I'm How is everyone? I'm very <laughs> I'm How? very carefully not filling the air at the moment. That will happen on <laughs> my turn. for me. I am hmm. Uh, you fire in with the divine lance and it, it hits the shell of the thing as it's like coming out of the water and just, yeah, probably burnt the shell a little, but other than that, it doesn't seem to care. And speaking of it, for its first attack, it wants to attack the broom. And my best attack is it reaches out. It doesn't seem quite smart enough to realize that a broom is not food, but... We're gonna give it a go. If we're if we're lucky, the broom will hold its mouth open, and I can throw some acid down its gut. <laughs> yeah, just uh, wedge it up. Yeah, that hits. It's like that boss in uh, uh, Ocarina of Time. Alrighty, so boom, ba bam, bam, ba boom, bang. Five points of damage. Three points of damage. Because you have hardness. Uh, you are yes, because guest. it is a construct, so it has hardness. So that's uh, uh, three points of damage. Less than half. Okay, so the thing still is considered, does not have its construct armor broken. That's okay. Sounds good. For the Grave Shell's second action, as it like leans out and its neck turtles out to bite, it's it has six legs all told and a pretty big fishy tail, like I said, and they all withdraw inside the shell and it turns the shell in the direction of the broom as that happens the poor unfort that there it is again the poor unfortunate soul falls into the room and it kind of like spins to do an attack with its shell spikes i rolled a uh, d6 plus four let's try it's a, not a blue shell is it uh they, who's in last place right now uh, <laughs> someone is in last place a 13 day at the broom misses and alec uh, blue shells go after the ones in first place oh yeah that Golf rules. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I know how Mario is. Anyway, Alec looks over at Alma and just, well, should I chase our angry dog friend or should I get the soup ready? Put the kettle on. Soup. Alma, <laughs> make me some seafood. Alma, make me some soup. Five. If we have, yeah, you know, like if we have food when it comes back, there may be diplomacy. 15, I mean, 20. He's going to stride you know, straight forward into it. And then he's going to power attack. That's the best thing about turtles. Their bodies serve as natural soup bowls. <laughs> I feel terrible saying that. But it's true. And now I'm hungry. So, mm -hmm. so a 19 hits. Uh, I get to role play with myself real quick. Uh, Alec brings his halberd down, just like down into the shell. The grave shell will take a reaction to... I must roll how much I did 12 points of damage and a power attack so it adds an additional damage die so all told 18 points of damage which is reduced by the funny thing about turtles in a game where uh, shields matter is it has a shield block basically oh, I that's like so turtles cool. uh, oh uh, great shells I are... like train so we've definitely Alec does more than enough to like split the shell as he brings his mm -hmm his halberd down uh, i've done basically i reduce by that and then the shell is the shell is flat destroyed at that point there's a a very sizable gash from his halberd where anybody could lob a bomb or stab in and that means i take 12 points of damage the growlodon is full of anger and sadness and it did not take much to shatter that shield did it ring of protection of the plate making test. a fort save against the massive amount of pain of having that destroyed? Not quite. It just... Uh, if the shell is broken, the grave shell can't attack with shell spikes, nor can it use shell game, the name of its action to go into its shell. Uh, 
Uh, the, uh, the shell is destroyed. The grave shell's AC is reduced, so that's neat. As long as the grave shell is alive, the shell naturally repairs after a week, but that's not important right now. What's important right now is it's Annie's turn. Hmm. Interesting on the fact that they made it clear it magically repairs. Yeah. It says naturally repairs. It's Oh natural I'm misheard you, my apologies. Do, 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 do. And acid people. <laughs> Alrighty, that is definitely an ouchie. Uh, do I resist anything? I feel like I don't. Yeah, I don't. Okay, so boom, bang, and a persistent acid damage. How do I get rid of persistent damage? Sorry, Quick. it takes a minute to do these because the, um, the thing wants me to input dice manually for some reason. Of course. Uh, that one and misses. That would just get the, yeah, it just gets the one point. So mm. did it, it got hit with the first one, so that is a damage plus one and then plus one again so six total gotcha alrighty and then next up is ohm okay move we go five ten fifteen twenty uh 25 and let's see it's one two three man i cannot get to him he's a very fast pupper i am so pissed at the child abuse um yeah language Pissed is fine. If I get flagged over pissed, then maybe I didn't want to be on YouTube. It's, some, it's uh, sometimes weird. I also watch a lot of streamers who are like way less. Like I've been watching a lot of Markiplier, and Markiplier says a lot of poopy oh, words. But okay. Then... Yes? From here, I will use an action to free action to drop my sword on the desk okay. beside me, pull a bottled lightning, and we are one, two, three, four, five, six, 35 foot. I have a 20 foot range that puts in the second range increment. You get it. How much does that? Uh... Uh, minus two, I believe. OK. Well, let's see how this works. And if I get it close, he still takes a point. And a point he takes. And I'll hear, here, puppy, 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 in Goblin, in the most condescending tone possible. Gotcha. OK, so I think it passes now to the warg. Yeah, I, I went back and looked at precision damage. So that d20 I rolled just now was the DC 15 flat check the warg should have made last turn to see if the persistent kept going. The persistent is still going. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, all right, so sure. Two point, so that's two points at the end of its turn. 10, right, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, sure, it's going to come up within five feet of you. It snarls something rude about goblins. And tries to do a num 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 plus 11. 20 to hit? That hits. Alrighty, so the thing about winter wolves, or winter wolves, the thing about wargs is they have something I wasn't expecting something this small to have, but they have it. First things first, 10 points of piercing damage. Its attack has the grab ability, so as it, like, it bites onto your neck, it holds on. And now I need to check. Now, here we go. We're going to rules stuff because wargs in second edition have swallow whole. I was not expecting that in the slightest. Boy. Yeah, I, oh. I, think, I thought they'd be too small. Well, now, Granny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
What, what big, big ears, ears you have. have. <laughs> All right, swallow hole. I want to make sure I have this right before I start harming people. Bear with me, team. Oh, uh, swallow hole. Oh, it's in the... I'm looking in the wrong book. I got to look in the universal monster rules, don't I? Pip on you. Pip and poop ability glossary. Okay. The monster attempts to swallow a creature of the listed size or smaller. The size listed is small. That has that it has grabbed in its jaws or mouth. If a swallowed creature of the maximum size listed, they can't do the thing. The monster attempts an athletics check opposed by uh, the reflex DC of our rogue, basically. So, am I going to nom our friend? Only one way to find out. Athletics is plus eight. Over as if you'd rolled a 10 on your reflex save. 20. Okay. It... Yeah, Bolix doesn't see but hears because there's a door like right there. Uh, the sound of like probably the, I guess nothing mechanically bad happens. So just like an ear and a bit of head gets like the creature is trying to feast on uh, Ohm but doesn't really get anywhere. There's a lot of struggling and pulling and that was all three of my actions. I take two points of persistent damage and try to make a flat check. That time is enough to end the condition. Okay. Uh, Bullock's turn. He's going to move up. Okay. Swing open that door. And so it was. And he is going to see that his friend is in his jaws. He's going to look at this work straight in the eye and say, spit it out now. He just kind of looks. It can't really say anything because it's talking device is also. Well, okay, there's a check. Hang on. What's my will DC? Oh, not quite. It's close, but it's still a failure. Okay. It's I, kind of glares at you. A, um, it's a class skill. So. Right. Opposed by can, a will DC, can, right? Can I, give a, yeah. can I give a hero point for that? Because I want to see this happen. Oh, sure. Why not? Yeah, go ahead. Reroll the thing. Oh, uh, okay. I want to see that happen. I'm sorry. So I'm giving you my oh, hero point. Rough. That's worse. The magic number Whoops. was 16. Yeah. Uh, I could give my hero point on this. Okay. This would be hilarious. I'm the thing about hero points, though, is hero points have the <laughs> hero points have the fortune trait what? in second edition, so you can only yeah. use one in a round. So Bolix retains. Oh, Bolix's. okay. So yeah, thirteen doesn't matter. Okay. The thirteen stands and it just glares at you. Okay. You think you hear something about your next blue one, but it mostly comes out like uh, black, black, black skin, charhide, <laughs> flap. No. Talk hair. with your mouth full. <laughs> hair, hair is blue, but skin is black. Ah, got you. Good. So I guess uh, those are my actions. Was that? Yeah, you moved in. Yeah, sure, got it. Yeah, intimidate. Already, Charles. Hello, Charles. Charlie! Oh, it's, it's, it's my... Sorry, you cut out at the end there, and I was like, oh, uh... Sorry. Oh, my bad. No, 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 I should have assumed. But, well... Hmm. Okay, um, first things first... You never assume. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah, makes an ass out of you and me, friend. Uh, first action... Uh... Uh... Yeah, first action... Uh... I guess, um... Oh, that's a good. I'm first trying action. to think up of, of cleaning related puns, but my brain is so dusty I can't come up with one. Rough. Time to get the brush off. Yeah, so there we go. Um. Oh well. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna say uh, something, cool. something, something clever broom attack. Something, something clever broom attack. Yeah, the <laughs> broom. So that's my command action. Broom is going to do as I say. And wow, the broom yeah. is rolling well today. And the broom hits, and the broom does five points of damage. No, 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 no. That was the second attack. Oh, got you. Okay, roll damage. Two. It, it's impossible for it to roll five damage because it only rolls Just a D4. The D4. Yeah. Yeah, and I need that fortitude save. And a fort save. Uh, it adds a number, but I don't think it adds enough. All told, I have a. I'm not used to reading that. An 11, all told. Aha! He is affected by the dust. Um, the dust effect of the uh, animated broom. He has to spend 
His first, he has to spend an action on his next turn, coughing to clear out the dust in his face. Rough. Unless he's immune to breathing. No, he definitely breathes. Yeah, yeah. Well, then he has to spend an action coughing. Okay. To get the dust out of him. And like that, he's been choking. It, yeah, there's no other option. He has to do it. Okay. So that's one less option, uh, action we gotta deal with. Hooray! Woo! Um, and then for my action, I'm just going to uh, say, well, time to start cooking it, and just snap my fingers as a bit of fire appears in my hand. Um, as like a little bit of a rune actually appears in the palm of my hand. A tiny baby rune. And Vladish! Oh! Well, hey. uh, not a critical hit, but if you want to flavor the cooking. I'm just going to, as the thing co starts coughing, it rears its head back, and as it opens its mouth up to cough, whoop, and goes to flame. And down it goes. Yeah, I think it's on cute duck. And then it's just like... Poof, oh. I'm like... Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Divine Lance. Divine Lance, indeed. I am... I have many nags oh, on my well, armor class. It, it, it is already dead. You have to do something. Well, it's, it's technically dying one. It could probably not get up oh, okay. because Alec will do oh, a big stab thing? on it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I dusted. I smoked it. Literally. I put, you know, dust is mostly made of human flesh and whatnot. It, so, if, if you're going to hit it with something, use a cantrip. Divine Lance is a cantrip. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Divine Lance is a hell of a cantrip. I did not know it was a cantrip. And it is. It is heavenly. <laughs> Dying too. Oh god, spell seriously. It's good. The man has powerful puns, and that was two actions, so unless he would like to stride. Nine. Nine, got it. And a twelve is enough. And then a plus nothing. A six is not enough. So Alec goes stabbing in with his halberd, and the first one strikes true, and the second one kind of glances off the shell. And Annie. All right, well, uh, did we hear um, Bullocks when he called out before? I imagine it's not quiet, yeah. All right. So that's 40 to get there, and I have one action. Okay. So... My last acid vial. Sounds good. Okie dokie. And Put if you... down that goblin. So it was. Combat is off. You guys have enough actions to be able to coop de grasses. If that's... The broom. Oh, yes. The broom just, just whacking at the turtle shell until eventually it just like flops onto the ground and I just like walk over to Alec and just like smile and this is why I went to the academy not bad Thessalonian thank you and dead and dead and the floor is once again yours friends um just help uh, Bullocks get um, our friend out of the uh, the gullet of the dying uh, or dead otherwise wolf Fair enough. He, he wasn't swallowed, but no. I did not expect a warg to have that. That's nuts. Yeah, that's that was very interesting. Mm. Well, I need to go check on the pups. The pups oh, are, are you okay? Pups are fine. They're a little shaken up, but they see you and they come and like go and nipping at you again. Okay. Um, I'm going to get some hard tack and uh, use prestidigitation to flavor it, <laughs> like roast duck. Sure. And the warg pups get some teething cookies. Good enough. That's actually pretty genius. That's not bad at all. Good enough for me. Um. So oh. uh, I would call for Alec if possible. Yeah, he beheads the grave shell and heads in. Why you're not persistent acid, easy buddy? Yes. Yeah. Um. Can you help us get this warg away from here? I don't want the puppies seeing it. I agree. Well, it's just not ready to be. For, for mommy today. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I'm pretty good with little pets. I say looking up to Leo, who just kind of like pokes his head out. He's kind of come back to me after the fighting. Um, is there a window or anything near where we are? 
there's from where you guys are standing you guys are in the center of the keep but alm can see a window at the end of the hall here uh, and like through this yeah. open door into this room there's a window there man i wish uh, conjuration was this good back in 1e i, I really do love conjuration the was con real good in 1e all right in that well, case it feels so much to... easier to control now Fair. i guess yeah. in that ca in that case i would try to direct alec and assist him in uh, dragging it towards the leftmost window so we can toss it out so the puppies don't see it Got it. Yeah, Alec, he puts down his halberd and he can pick up the warg, but he can't, like, throw it over his shoulder. Uh, he basically just grabs the and help, If I come and help him, could, like, the two of us have a pretty easy time doing it? Yeah, I do between have, the two of you. Like, I have a strength of three. I have a strength score of 16. Well, while they're doing this, I patch myself up and I'm as good as new, but grumpier than ever. <laughs> Fair enough. So between Charles and Alec, you guys head to the window. And the window is, it's big enough to force the body out. It's not easy, but you guys can put your backs into it and down it goes. Good riddance. Um, is that thing valuable to skin or anything like that? Could we be concerned about that? As nice. I looking to the rest of the group. Even, even if it was, it's not a situation we want to be in. We have two mm. puppies. We don't want them seeing the dead parents. Even if it was a horrible being. That's fair. Sorry. Forgive me. I was just trying to be practical here. The implication. I say with a I say a, I say with a I, big ass grin to Anastasia. I commend you on your pragmatism, but um they are developing pups. I don't want to uh, skew them the wrong way. Yeah, oh, this the implications so weird of being... wearing the skin of a sentient creature are well Savagery must be quelled in the home and heart, my friend. Wait. That thing is... Oh, I did not realize the level of sin... Forgive me, I... It was speaking goblin. And I these didn't... pups will learn languages as they grow. That thing I is probably hear... smarter than me, yes. If I was I made didn't... in first edition, it would be smarter than me. I didn't hear that thing speak. My apologies. I was dealing with the turtle for the most of that time. Mm. And on that note, dinner will be ready soon, I believe. And Alm goes a searching. Meanwhile, yep. as we dig through the room, alrighty. So, yeah, we've got an A twenty. What's in oh, A twenty? That, that uh, survival check was to assist in rendering the uh, grave thing for the pup. Of course. Okay. So, this long row of mostly empty bookshelves, some of which were probably knocked over as the war tried to run out through here is remarkably untouched, though a thick layer of dust and the smell of mildew permeate the air. A door deeper to the citadel in the east, well, the door where the warg is, came through, basically, is like there's some conspicuous like fur and stuff by it. Um, so you're not really sure, probably because things aren't super of value, but there are a lot of books in this room. And well, this Annie definitely Annie. looks like a place to go through again at our leisure. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. the same idea in A18 for Annie. There's, if you were this to spend the best place for goblins. <laughs> yeah, if you guys were mm -hmm. to spend time going through the books and stuff, you would pretty safe guess these are probably maybe a little outdated. Is why they were left, but like the history of the Order of the Nail. Um, Charles looks noticeably more interested once he walks into this room. He's like, oh, oh, I am going to have fun reading these and chronicalizing these later. History is a bit of a subject I study on for fun. Oh, and I am alone. Given that you are literally from <laughs> history. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, it's quite interesting. I literally, the entire world around me has changed in the course of a few years for me. So it's like, huh. All of a sudden, I am like living in a fantasy book to a degree because now the entire world has changed around me. Well, that's super meta. I know. Well, seeing as uh, there's actually interest for Anastasia for the pups, she would go to help with them, let the other people loot. Okay, because that um, the, these are basically winter wolves, even though they are wargs. That you know, it's, it's kind of my thing. A winter wolf um, is just a bigger yeah. warg, basically. Yeah, I, I shall probably have to take uh, Animal yes. Bond on my next. Uh... You have a tiny, you have a toy Winter Wolf now. <laughs> Anastasia's real last name is Hilton. 
<laughs> no, just take a druid druid dedication. No, uh, no dedication. I, 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 Technically they, speaking, in Pathfinder 2nd Edition, a warg is just a beast. It could be trained, like, as you would train a wolf. Yeah. Huh. Neato. You know. But in Nature's yeah. Bond, probably my f next feat. Oh, no, excuse yeah. me. I lied. Beast is not animal. Their beast is what magical beast is, beast is basically. Because I go look at beast in the book, and centaur right. goes right after warg, so they are not, like, legal animal yeah. companions. Aww. In any case... But they are party members. Yeah. These guys will grow up to be smart. Uh, Ohm doesn't find anything in A16 other than... Other than... This grim administrative office's heavy wooden desk, armchairs, and filing cabinets are still largely intact, though most of the furniture's drawers have been pulled out and ransacked. As you go looking around, you don't really see a whole lot of much. I do hope there's like a druid archetype that eventually comes out that focuses on magical beasts. Yeah. That'd be cool. Like, I know we have the, um, uh, with the one that gets really good animal companions, but I think it'd be also cool to, for one to be focused on them, uh, more so magical beasts and whatnot. The way they've codified it, I think it's playable. But yeah. I'm going to start knocking open doors. Boom. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, oh, I um, once, once the pups have been fed, um, lightly, I'll pack up the rest of the meat because they need to be fed at a steady pace or they will get sick. And that is what I am telling them. Accurate. Um, and I gesture for them to follow and I will um, go rejoin the rest of the group with the pups in tow. Okay, sounds good to me. Yeah, we do need to gather up to talk. And so How's was... everybody feeling? The general consensus that you guys would get is most of the rooms you're going through take time to, like, stop and either collect books or look around more nooks and crannies for more, like, silver that may have been dropped at some point or uh, things of that nature. Or basically. a D. A D. Yeah, um, or a D. Looting. Yes. <laughs> Not only do I want to loot, I want to own the loot. <laughs> Okay, so you guys go looting around. Uh, can I get a society check from Bandy Body, basically? Both of those are not quite good enough. You have assembled a lot of books, many, many books on the Order of the Nail, but a lot of them are like they help with the check, but it's still not quite enough. Put book on head. <laughs> Put book on head. Wait, what are we taking checks for? Sorry. Society, awesome. if you would. Oh, for one. Alec is trained. Never mind. Okay, so it's cute. No, that's a perception check. I lied. Aw, oh, no Oof. good roll for me. Nobody's quite there. Nope. <laughs> so there are wow. a, lot of, a lot of books, but no one's really sure what any, like, a lot of them are really outdated or maybe, like, not of super interest, I guess I'll say. With the society checks. I can't um, tell if this is all fiction or if this is all reality. This is my life. It's an awkward way to flavor failures, but yeah. Yeah, how, how much time is, is required for a recheck on that? Uh, it took you guys about 30 minutes to get the books oh, together, but uh, you could go again. Question for the GM. Yes. Uh, would that trigger this? Uh... Yeah, sure. Between that and now a 15, which is successful. Uh, basically, what happens is you guys have assembled enough information about the Order of the Nail as detailed on a page in the AP. So I can... Basically, you guys know all the things about these guys now. We can stop in flavor text now, or I can send it to you guys later, but the information is there and you have it. Oh, neat. Well, what, let me see how long it is. Uh, page five. Hello, page five. Where is page five? Right there. Already. I would say right around page, a little after four and before six. Oh, geez. All right. It's not even detailed on page five of here. It's There's just more, more stuff. Uh, oh, I see. Fair enough. Okay. So 
Uh, this citadel was built, in, or rather, the town of Breach Hill it was founded near here in 4550 AR. Uh, after the foundation of Breach Hill, the like it became really obvious that the hill for which Breach Hill is named is a very like super defensible location. And it wasn't super long after that for an order of Hell Knights to come in and build a keep when this was still like Chelish Hell Lands. Uh, the Order of the Nail are, like I said before, they are sworn to combat what its members would call the regressive Myers of the Wild. These guys are the like the lawful neutrals that are pushing civilization everywhere they go at the point of a halberd, basically. And it's given the nature of Isger over the years, it makes sense why a Hell Knight Citadel to the Order of the Nail would appear here. There, uh, let's see, even more happens. Uh, when the Hell Knights, when they had dug into the hill of which we're sitting on to start excavating crypts and vaults and things, uh, like, basically, like, what you go to read from that is under this, there are crypts somewhere. Where they are, it's hard to say, but, uh, eventually the, that particular order got more funding, uh, got a better keep in Verizia, and they abandoned it, basically. For a really, oh, not really long, I guess like a few years more like, the uh, the Hell Knights kept a small contingent of soldiers here, but as like missions in Verizia mounted, the driving away of the Shoanti and things, the Order of the Nail basically just abandoned this place, and the Citadel fell into disrepair, as you see it today, more or less. And for the looting of the title, you find pizza! I'm hungry. Alright, so we're in the Court of the Nail. The Court of the Damned. So we got, uh... The turtle itself didn't have anything fancy other than eating it. However, the the guy who collapsed... Oh, uh, where even are you, friend? I had you in a second. Uh, okay, so the body itself has a pretty well put together, despite the fact that it's been sitting in water. The body hasn't probably been there more than a few days. Uh, the chain shirt, as well as six gold and nine silver. And the rooms themselves, all of these like offices up here, basically what they were. Uh, you find a scroll of alarm and a scroll of fear. And yeah, uh, Annie goes search in the room and doesn't find anything else in that particular area. Mm -hmm. bum, bum, bum. I'm just bum, spending bum, my time bum, reading bum, the book, bum. looking over the books. Yeah, I'm just... Moving and looking, yeah. Basically just books and things in there. Ants have chicken grease, can someone move my toe? <laughs> Where do you want it to go? With the group. Got it. Thank you. Where's the group going? <laughs> I just put everybody over here. There's a door here that's opened and there was stuff in it. But they're basically just offices. This door? Uh, -huh. uh that door? Indeedy. Uh, we will pop it open. Here we go. Boom. Boom. Bam! The door went boom? The door exploded. exploded. Make a reflex save. Uh, Rows of desks here are bolted to the floor, though many of the cramped workspaces have been smashed to pieces or otherwise defaced. Wooden chairs have been thrown aside like discarded playthings. And if you could give me a perception check, if you would. Huh. Sure. Okay. So it sees you. And it's kind of just watching you and Ohm as well. In the rafters of this room, there's a giant bat. Ooh. Twins. It's basically, yeah. <laughs> just kind of sitting here. It hasn't, like, it sees you. It has identified a food source, but it's not really doing anything. Well, I mean, 
we don't have to do anything to it. It's not like it's going to hurt us yet. Yeah, this is uh, my, nature check. Yeah, my familiar Dlusha is uh, just singing uh, Russian uh, lullabies to the puppies. Okay, sounds good. Uh, nature check to do what? Uh, uh, just are these sure things normally a threat? Okay, gotcha. Um, a giant bat is a threat. Like, like when I say giant, it's a that token should be a little bigger. I've done that like three times. My bad. A giant bat is a large creature. Okay, <laughs> it's very big. Uh, yeah. probably about a hundred pounds of muscle and angry. It primarily, will subsist on fruit, fruits and bugs and things, but. If it were hungry enough, it certainly would attack even, like, somebody as big as Alec. Are they intelligent? No, it's just an animal. Or animal. Yeah, just a... They, in certain regions of the world, will give rise to, like, oh, it's a vampire! But no, it's just a big animal. Mm -hmm. I kind of wish I'd speak with animals, because then I could tell it about the blackberry. <laughs> Uh, I still have blackberries. Uh, I set out a pile of them. Okay. Good enough. It descends. There's a critical on a nature check, so the giant bat descends and begins just, like, ravenously eating the blackberries. It seems to not pay you guys any further in mind. Cool. Aw. All right. Hmm. Oh, this I, wonder if the, I wonder if our goblin friends can uh, train this as, like, a mount or something. That yeah. would be cool. I am going to continue staying where I am because I probably don't know what's going on. Let's see what's behind this door. I'll just keep charging. Take a look. It's in a book. About the hell nights. And that leads you back in there. Okay. And is there anything else? You Sorry, know? I didn't realize I hadn't moved my car token, so I'll move it there because I was fed the back. Making, making connections here. I think I know what's behind this door. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yeah, yeah, you do. Alrighty, boom, bang. And uh, oh. this, this. just just oh, once again looks over Leo just like sees you coming and is like Aah. and I'm just like what? Oh. I think this oh. is a miss. I am curious about what's behind the altar though. Okay. What's up? Did you guys find anything interesting? I wanted to see over here if you could follow me. Oh, sure. In case. I'm oh wait, we already we already went in there. That was just an office. Yeah. Sorry. Alec yeah. is gonna watch the bat. Hmm? Oh, okay. How about coming back this way? Okay. That's the next door to another. Understood. Alrighty. A prisoner intake area with long benches, rings on the walls for shackles, and an administrative area occupies the room's western end. To the east, behind a raised iron gate, several prisoner holding cells stand with the doors hanging open. Strange lockers line the walls to the south. This looks story. like a secure place. Anything interesting and deep like and <laughs> there's definitely lockers in here but like you look at them and they're very clearly locked very what i'm sorry very they're kinda, uh yeah they are, the lockers are locked right ah. here all right okay Tink, tinky tinky lock lock unlock and that's a uh, not quite people we Yeah, I got some time before I can do new skills. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, yeah. oh, I'm yeah, I'll take chip. 18 is still not quite good enough. The locks are pretty good. Yeah. Again, some place to come back to. I just bang on it. <laughs> I hit my head. Just burp. Okay. Works for me. I mean, if we wanted to, we could always just try and... I don't know, destroy the item around it just in order to get in, but that might not end well. I see Annie's perception check, so you don't really see anything in there either. I still have quite a bit of magical juice in me. Mm. Uh, what time are you doing? Hmm. Yeah. 
and I'll hand you back one of the bottled light wings. Most appreciated. And on that note, for, for ease of access, shall we say, I'm going to jump in here, do a quick double check. Yeah, there was, there's like two doors that weren't open. So for the sake of time and organization, I will yeah. remove the dynamic lighting. As that was every room, there were a couple doors in a tower that didn't get open, but they just track around. So there's no Neat. reason to not. Yeah. We were uh, going to continue around this direction, and we should check the rest of what's over here. Okay. Most of the rooms at this point just require time and better rolls. Yeah. Well, I'll go through it. Okay. Whole lot of nothing. Whole lot of nothing. Oh, well, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hop, 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 hop. Kuktok said the magic word. Uh, Kuktok, as you approach the cells, there are bodies in the cells. They animate. I guess it's cool that you did it. Uh, yeah, these will work. It's not quite the yeah. right token, but if um, right now, if everybody oh. could roll perception for initiative. I am glad that I am nearby. I'm this. glad that I can just burn a couple of first level spells and take care of these things. You just snap your fingers, snap their necks. Hey, that's a decent initiative. The um, the the, the roller doesn't like me today. Yeah, can I call shenanigans on that? <laughs> I mean, you can, but I don't know what good that does. Here comes the RNG police. They're here to get time. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, I'm glad you guys are in my life. You make me laugh in the Divine moment. intervention? Not quite. You're a second level cleric. You don't have divine intervention yet. <laughs> Give it 18 levels or so. I want to type here. There we go. 22. Oh, pip, 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 pip. Got a scroll block down. 5 and 13 and 13. Eh, I'll live. Famous last word. I can't get that far, so... <laughs> Once they're clustered, I'll just area heal them to undeath. Death. Understood. Un 20. Undeath. Uh, Kuktok has a 9. It is in there. We got a 24 from Ohm. We got a it's 16. In range now. Got a 16 from Charalas. Charalala. Not good enough. Uh, Alec is busy. Uh, 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 right. So then first up is Ohm. Who is who hears the sounds of probably cute duck screaming out about it, I assume. Yeah, I will You hear uh, cursing in an unfamiliar language. What language? <laughs> Charles will just bet. What language? Varky. And what? In Varky, fair enough. Yeah, no, 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 no in your back. Huh. Interesting. No. Okay. okay. So Fun fact, a lot of the common swears in English don't have easy equivalents in, in uh, the Inuit language family. So you hear something like, go copulate with a lemming, you shambling mounds of rotting flesh. <laughs> <laughs> Good. And yes, um, no, no, it's go no. rot a lemming, because she's using the uh, different word for that. Oh, that's great. I love it. It's not even implying that they're doing it the way proper sapient beings. Yeah, nope. it's not really. Ohm is doing Ohm's best to stride three times and get there. So I'm just going to go to the skeleton here. Who? Which one are you? You're right there. Oh, they're just skeletons? Yeah. Ohm, you're going to want to find don't have. I don't have my emergency yeah. backup mate. Yeah. 5, 10, 15, can't really get around to anything else. It's going to try to okay. swing. Plus 6, 24 to hit. It is a hit. For 3 points of slashing damage and would like to try again. Uh, technically, that was a crit. Oh, that was a crit? All right. Uh, we'll call it 6. 6 points of slashing damage. Pride and cometh. that is a hit, barely. 
Alrighty, and I have the forceful trait, which means I add one more on for each successful hit. So this one's 1d6 plus 3 for 6 more. So 12 points of damage as this thing comes up with a scimitar and just 1, 2. And Bolix. Okay. Uh, I can... Exactly where Charles is. I think I took another path than you. Good enough. That, that puts me at 3 moves right to there. All right, it passes to Charles, as we all uh, regret not playing elves. One, two, three, four squares to get up here. Sure. Um, two actions, seeing that these things are just coming up, I'm just going to run up beside um, uh, uh, Kotak and say, Oh, no, you don't! And I'm going to uh, hit it with a uh, shocking grasp. Question, is it wearing metal armor or anything like that? Um, does it have a decent amount of metal on it? It is carrying a scimitar. Other than that, it's mostly just rags. If the let me just see if because it's too bad armor. you don't have burning hand. If the target is wearing metal armor, yeah, it's metal armor is made of metal, so right. no. So all of Pretty my armor flame would have worked fine too. I mean, the the best fire spell I have is my produce flame, which is my innate cantrip from Rune Scar. But yeah, let the man pretty... throw his d12s at the table. Oh, let's <laughs> see. Yes, uh, yeah, if you flavor it. I'm just gonna run up beside her, just like, don't you hurt her, and just like grab its skull and just like slam its head against the grate and just like, <laughs> like, like grill it on the Emma jail bars. So, so you light up a produce flame on the inside of it. I, 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 tur I turn a turtle into a, into a soup by casting produce flame down its gut after beating it over the head with an animated broom. This is why I love playing wizards, people. That's fair. All righty, 510. <laughs> Alec comes running into the room. He has a good helper, good helping friend. Oh, First wait. Uh, statement, just for the statement. Uh -huh. Reaction. Uh... Drain familiar. I gained that spell slot back. Got it. Hooray for Leo. A 20 to hit Cute Duck. Hit. For eight points of damage. Second swing. I feel like I'm picking on the healer. A 10 misses. And this one is going to step and takes two actions, but it reaches up and it takes its skeletal little fingers and it puts its, like, its bird finger and its pointer finger into the sockets where its eyes should be and it removes its skull and then it hucks it. The skull screams maniacally and that's gonna do a ranged bite attack. So that's new. But how much... Yeah, yeah right? That's not yeah. what you expect to happen. But there it is. So we're gonna make a ranged attack which is... I gotta... That's actually a little better. Nice. I did it! Boom! 22 to hit Cute Duck. Yikes. Yeah, I think I'm at dying one at this point. Oh, oh no. I could I could roll bad. I could roll bad. I could roll bad. Five yeah. points of damage? Yeah, I'm at uh, negative three. So you're at zero. No negatives yeah. in this one. And then... So, so, someone pour a healing potion down my throat, and then I can use my um, three action uh, heal while I'm prone on the ground. It's all cool. I <laughs> wish I had Leo with the dexterity familiar ability. So then it's gonna... It does change his initiative. It does, yeah. I just gotta... Okay, so I'm gonna make a quick... I think I just add a d20. Because this is this is an ability that skeletons have listed in the, in the best year, but I don't have all of the math done on this skeleton. So this is an intimidate check. Okay. It's kind of scary, but People are more worried about the fact that Q-Tug is down, I suppose. Hey, as soon as I get up, they're all gone. And it's there. Oh, I forgot I was on the second one. All right, passes to Annie. Meanwhile, on the other side of the Citadel. And the meanwhile, in the Hall of Super Best Friends. <laughs> I mean, I did, I did roll a perception check when I first came in here, but... I'm not playing the undead sensor this time. It's a different kind of cleric. Who knew there were more than one? Well, there's the healer. There's the good healer. There's the really good healer. There's the amazing healer. And then there's Abdul-Noor, but that was your... 
<laughs> I assume it takes three strides from Annie, so I'm gonna palm on the goal to the other one, which is gonna step and do the same thing. This time it's gonna go at Charles. And it's an 11, which misses. And then passes to home. Okay. I can get to there in one move action. Uh, there aren't any feats to be able to just cast heal as a reaction. Has a reaction, cast heal. Okay. Jason, have a stern, please. One, He's going. Two, three, four. Yeah, I can. Can I? I'll come to here, grab Cube Tuck, and try to start dragging her off. Okay, that works. Ironically, I'm the only one with battle medic. Or, uh, it's none of the above. You're encumbered, and you can then move back like half your speed. I believe it is. Okay. <laughs> and I will. That. That works. I just kind of moved her. And bollocks. Okay, then I will go to that space since it's open. Okay. So that's one move. And a, it's in a nice line for me, so... A grim tendrils. Grim tendrils. Alrighty, so then I make a fort save. And it's... Oh wait, no, I don't want to do that. No. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. We can, we can, we can <laughs> reneg <laughs> that. <laughs> I'm get a wisdom you. check about that. Because uh, that's using a negative energy on undead. Yeah, I know exactly. I wasn't thinking that was negative energy. I thought it was like yeah, or something. No, it's negative energy. The man is still in recovery. Pretend it didn't happen. Okay. Yes, um, no Japanese hellos. <laughs> In that case, um, I use my new spell. Okay. Because it's he's more fun. So fun! It critically hits him. Cool. Wow. And nice. You'd like to flavor that? That is such a barky spell. Flavor that snowball. Um. Gross. It's yellow. Yellow. Snow. <laughs> Just bam. The, the bad imagery there. Okay, Good yeah, it, it's can it's canon now. All uh, critical snowballs are yellow snow. It's the uh, the skeleton's head just gets clobbered with snow, and there's a carrot sticking out of his nose right now, so it, <laughs> it just falls over. And good enough for me. All right, Charles. This is weird. All the encounters I've had with spellcraft at my tables that have involved copious amounts of undead. That Spellcraft has just snapped his fingers, and there are no more undead. Now it's a skeleton walks up and casually brings him down. What well, is... to be fair, I was alone, and I'm at second level. These guys are creature minus one. If they were a little farther away, they'd be destroyed by now, because I would have had my action. Or if I'd rolled better initially. Mm -hmm. All right, Charles. I'm, I'm not exactly it's armored good. here. It's okay. Get him, Charlie. Hey, wait a second. The wargs were with me. Uh, the wargs are back where they... Uh, yeah, yeah, we're keeping them safe. We're right? not killing baby puppies! Oh, no, I was just thinking they'd enjoy all the bones once I cleaned them off. That's fair. All right, Charles, what you got for us? At a later time. They were being sung lullabies by my familiar. <laughs> that is adorable, yes. I have a sneaking suspicion. Yeah, you've been muted this whole time, my friend. Charlie! Mac Candy Mountain Charlie! Charles is holding action Mac. in three, two... You are muted. Well, he, he put a BRB in the chat that I'm just now... Oh, okay. Remembering. He so, did. Uh, action I is didn't holding. realize it was Charles' turn, or I would yeah. have said something. That's my bad. Uh, all right, so D20 plus 10. And we're going to try to power attack this thing into the grip. Never mind. And D20 plus nothing. Alec is really bad at attacking, I suppose. And a flat check from Spellcraft. 
Okay. What's that? Uh, just roll a d20. Alrighty, I think 10 is the DC. I'm gonna go back and check real quick. Uh, oh, excuse me. Uh, we're running mods of play and counters playing without a grid. Who savagery is this? Quell that in the hearts and minds. Oh, where is. I need to know how dying works. I forget. So I'm just filling the Someone space. Someone has a healing potion they can pour down my throat. It will be academic in a sec. <laughs> I just want to make sure I get it right for later because I I cannot remember it to save my life right now. I'm just trying to Your find life? My life? Her save... life, rather. <laughs> I can't remember it to save this character's life. Uh, Dying. Page 619 of the core rulebook. Beautiful. I found I put dying in, and I got more things that are studying than dying in this game. All right, dying. Ah, you got that thing happened. The full rules are on page 459. Two pages away. Here we go. Right, no, not even. That's I thought it was at a 500. I am not at all. 459 for full rules on dying. Let's remember how this works together. Uh, DC equal to 10 plus your current dying value. So you failed and go to dying too. And pardon me, everyone. I'm going to attack myself a bunch if it please the court. Uh, plus six attacking Alec hits. Uh, just going to run all these at once. Misses. Um, zero. Plus minus four. Misses, so I hit Alec once for some damages, for six points of damages. Alec has a boo-boo. And it's on Annie. That's so fun to watch. Uh, elixir of life, pouring it down the gullet. Already. If I have enough. You. Uh, I'm not sure. I wasn't counting the squares, but you would need two actions. Okay, so uh, I offer up the potion for the next person initiative. <laughs> Good enough to for me. pour down their gullet. And this guy gets his face back. And he's going to chuck his face. It's all he can really do is just. Bleh! Man, Mrs. Alec. And it's on him. Uh, I will. Take the proffered uh, healing, the proffered elixir, and promptly pour it down Cube Duck's skull. And we're healing stuff. So let's look at how much that does, how much that makes. D6 plus one. Six plus one. Good enough. And so then it would pass to pass the bullocks. Okay. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? Because I have Something happened because I'm not seeing any... Um, I'm not see Oh, there. Patience is a virtue, wounded one. Okay, I am back at five. Anyway, it's on bullocks. Okay, I'm gonna try this. I never use this spell, so I'm, yeah, and I can do it as part of the full action. Fair enough. Two strike, and that way I would when I cast this next spell, I can roll twice. Seems good. Where are you? Advantage. I'm seeing it. I see advantage. So we either have a 14 or a or the second be a 19. Okay, 19 hits. Yellow snowball. Didn't quite destroy him this time, but it definitely connects. And it uh, goes to Charles. Charlie! I, I, I can't stop seeing yellow snowballs, man. Mm. Is, is Charles back? Do we have a Charles? No. All right, well, it's your turn. Oh, no. Okay, Um. well, then... Um... Can I make I a, the, uh, does we call knowledge a, a certain type of action, or do I just give one of them free for, like, um, 
Palm back. One action for you. All right, screw it. Recall at co- um, using Arcana, recall knowledge on, on, on skeleton. See if I can recall any weaknesses. 20. Uh, yeah, you probably get something there. Skeleton. So skeletons are, they're a little better put together than the typical, like, low level undead certainly if you hit them with positive energy it will hurt them they're immune to uh, a lot of things um other than that there's no real weaknesses are they not weak to bludgeoning anymore they are not there are no weaknesses on a skeleton guard interesting they have uh, they resist five points of slashing damage but are not weak to bludgeoning Interesting. I guess one that was a skeleton sort of like unique thing, because like all of them had a weakness. Yeah, yeah that's money. Changes. No addition who dis still a line from Tommy. Yeah. And then New game for my is. next for my next two actions, um I'm just going to point at the next one in the list and uh produce flame in. Alright, sounds good. And that does an ouch and that does a pain and it goes boom. And Alec, is, he doesn't need to step. He's just going to just swing down and critically hit for then that's, oh, God. Um, does an additional die of damage, so that's 3d10 plus 8. I can't not kill it, I think. 26 points of damage. Alec sees the fire, and he gets himself together, and he just kind of brings it down. Big smash. Skelly boy is dead. Initiative is off. There's a giant bat eating blackberries, and Cube Talk is wounded one. Um, I'm going to turn to look back to the rest of the Cube Talk. Are you all right? I was wounded one. Okay. So then I forget how much downtime it takes to remove the wounded condition, but that happens. Are you all right, Cube Talk? Let us never speak of yeah. this again. Mostly only it's my pride is wounded. Yeah, it's only ten minutes to remove the wound. All ten well, minutes. She's already just bandaging herself up. Well, yeah. at the very least, as long as no permanent damage was sustained. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm fine. I'll be I just think I'm getting the hang of this adventure. Only, only their though. pride. <laughs> yeah. Spend the time to refocus. I just like look at my hand. I'm like, I think I'm getting the hang of this adventuring thing, though. Yeah. Nice. Why do I I'm... smell yellow snow? You're not gonna live that one down. Yellow snow. I'm, I'm... Oh god! Did someone. Hmm. Pretty sure it melted. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go make sure that the um, pups haven't torn apart my familiar. <laughs> They're trying, but the familiar is able to get out of the way. I have mending. I just need to prepare. <laughs> I can have, I can have my right wounded now. dot gone now. Uh, at, yeah, ten minutes have passed. Your wounded condition is gone. Alec is just this whole time is watching the bat. The bat is now done eating the berries and is content to sleep in the rafters. Uh, I'm going to try something. Okay. With some more berries, I'm going to try to convince it to follow me and go outside. Okay, give me a nature check. I think I will assist. I will make this a, you know, statement as I open doors. Sure. Okay, so Q-Tag is able to pull it off. The bat goes outside. Okay. Ovlaculo. Hmm. Very interesting creature, that one. Bye-bye, Batty. Bye-bye, Batty. It goes to roost in a tree up here. And that's not the worst place in the world to call it. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. Next time will be more sweet looting, but that's... The Citadel has been cleansed of monsters and things. Thank you guys for watching. Glad everybody showed up and did the thing again. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm glad I horribly, horribly, terribly, murderously murdered finally my cleric with undeads. But for now, thank you guys for watching and be sure to like and subscribe and we will see you next time. Say bye, y'all. Bye. bye. bye.